Hey, what's up, everybody? Brian the Grizzly, only one here because I everyone else is I don't know. I think Brandman's asleep. Honestly, that's what I think. And Tank said he was gonna be here soon, so I was like, yeah, why not? I was come on and talk to you guys since I was already typing all these comments <laughs> about everything that we're talking about today. Uh, so what's up, chat? How are you guys doing? What's going on? Why why you guys answer stuff? I don't know if you got a chance to read the Ultimate X Men number two. I gotta say, I'm still not very impressed in, with it. I think they've they're running with this X Men thing. I mean, you have taken the chance with X Men ninety seven. You should be really, you know, thriving off of some of these title characters. It's really more like an anime or a manga or something like that. Uh, and it's just taking a long time to get into the main story. So I am not appreciating it that much. Uh, but on the other hand, X Men ninety seven is off the chain. <laughs> Every episode has got me hyped. Like I'm literally, I've, I've now watched it six times. I'm just waiting to Wednesday. That's all. Like I, I just want to wait to I get to the next Wednesday, and the next Wednesday, and the next Wednesday. All the time, just sitting there waiting for it. So uh, yeah, that's been how how it's been going for us, for me at least. Uh, I see Tank getting ready to come jump in right now. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Sorry, I had to deal with. Uh... <laughs> I know exactly what you're dealing with. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. a lot of poop from a little little person. <laughs> uh, it doesn't on. get better. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it does. <laughs> oh oh man. man! Oh yeah, I got some. I got some goodies. Finally got my. Oh, my it came mouth. in. My yeah. mouth for my uh for my lightsaber, which I'm super psyched about. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's it perfect. Lights up and everything. It says Tink Kramer <laughs> in like Star Wars language. So super hyped about it. And it lights up. I went to uh, Target today. And something I didn't have, I didn't have Sandman. Ooh, oh man. So I went and grabbed that's that. A, that's a good one to get. And I grabbed Book of Clarence. Already on the on, on Blu-ray. <laughs> okay. Well, it came out in January, so it's not it's not too bad. I mean, since they only made like five dollars. So yeah. <laughs> not yeah, didn't bad. didn't do too well. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. People didn't want to go see it, but you know, I enjoyed it. I, I'm okay with it. And then it I grabbed good. this. That was a really good movie. So we're on. Oh. Oh, is he gonna show up? Yep, he's supposed to. And then I really? gotta get Roberto. Yeah, and yeah, I got a. Uh, spot I got Mojo over things. here too. I got Mojo over there. <laughs> the pixel like that? Yeah. Hold on. Let's see. It, it's getting Jeez. bigger and bigger. <laughs> Jesus, man! <laughs> it keeps getting bigger and bigger. The pile of movies keeps getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I need this house to hurry get ready, man, because that's. I don't know. My dad's gonna be like, "What the hell, Brian?" <laughs> oh man, oh, uh, it's hilarious. But you know, it's what I do. That's funny. Uh, Brian said the problem with Book of Clarence is that it was all over the place. No, I thought it was a pretty concise story. I don't think that was the issue. I thought the problem was not a lot of people want to hear about. <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was a little I don't know if it was a little fast at, at a certain point but yeah I, 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 I mean, I, I, think, I don't know if it was all over the place because it did only have like really kind of one message one storyline <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, which is not bad I'm not saying it's a bad thing but yeah yeah but yeah, it was kind of like making fun of like grifters almost you know you know like so it was i i, I thought it was good i thought it was good oh, and speaking of lakeith uh lakeith sanfield he was you know the 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 fake jesus the fake messiah in yeah. it he uh so it was a couple weeks ago when we got that new uh that news from marvel that uh I forgot what her name was Jul julie uh, the girl who's playing silver surfer yeah. Okay. Yeah. I forgot her name. 
she, she you know, that news came out. He put out a, an Instagram post. He goes, oh, I, I thought it was me. I thought yeah. it was going to be me or something. And he put it up and then it got deleted. Yeah, so immediately. Like, is he going to be the male there, version? Yeah. yeah, I don't think he's Lauren. I don't think he's Lauren Red. I would not be, be, be surprised if they put another version of Silver Surfer. Like I talked about the last couple of weeks, mm. the black Silver Surfer, you know, like the, the mm. one that they kind of released recently. And it, because mm. yeah, it's, it's a multiverse. And then when you get into this main universe, you bring Lauren, Lauren Red out. Yeah, I want. I th- I th- I think uh, Lakeith might be the main universe, the six one six, like Silver I mean, Surfer. Interesting. I still see him shaving his his beard, his mustache, and beard, or anything like that. Nah, they'll do CGI. They'll they'll do what they did with like Lawrence Fishburne, kind of thing. <laughs> Lawrence know? Fishburne had to shave it all. No, nah, he didn't. He wasn't even doing any of it. It was a it was oh. a different dude playing the character, and then he voiced it. But I feel like Lakeith would just wear a green suit. And they'll you know silver him up and then oh, so you say he has a body he'll, type. He'll, he'll voice it. That's why I think Lakeith could do the whole thing, but yeah. it just would be yeah. You have to that, yeah apart. Yeah, I think because he because like uh um what's his name um Lawrence Fishburne is not like thin and lanky. <laughs> you know what I mean like he's a, like he's a, like kind of a stocky beefy guy. Um, so but Lakeith he's long and and lanky, so he you can you can do like him in a green suit and. You know, put the silver on them and then just uh, I don't you know. know. That'd be interesting. I, I'd see it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. hate that. So, yeah. But I know. I know. Chill will. Chill will hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I guess. Yeah. I mean, Silver Surfer was. Is, is he? He's actually silver, though, right? Yeah. He, he's he's uh, actually silver. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. not. So he's not glowing like the way they portray him. But yeah. he's still gray. Yeah, like a grayish. So I'm like, I don't know if that's a. <laughs> he's not a white guy turning into like a, a black guy. Is just <laughs> an alien. <laughs> I don't think he stands for any of it. <laughs> uh, Preston, what's up? Presto talks reviews. What's up? How you doing? I know he was How's over it going, in, uh, man. He was in the uh, Zach's uh, um, watch along. So that's cool. Yeah. I was going to ask. So, uh, so you did get to see uh, Civil War. Yes. Yeah, I got to. I got to see it. Uh, it's not a masterpiece. I, I'll say that right off the bat. It's not because people are like, uh, like Who when it was, it was playing at the uh, the like some of the early reviewers, the people that got to see it at whatever festival it played at and whatever. Um, they're like, oh my god, it's 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 going to be the best movie of the year. And I'm it's like, good. I think it's, it's good. good. But, yeah, I think it's they not, have really, really good parts. But I was confused as hell. It took me two days to unravel all the crap I watched. I was like, what? Yeah. What's going on? And then I started to really think about, it. Like, oh, okay, I get this. Oh, okay, I get what's going on. They didn't really it's, explain it's, enough. No, no. That, I think that's the uh, one of the bigger downfalls. Which I, I'll we'll get into that later. But I mean, if the director, excuse me, had like seltzer water earlier now my burpee um if the director needs to come out and explain things <laughs> afterward in interviews then then you might have some uh some issues with stuff like that but what you actually saw was this <laughs> they do work you know but wasn't yeah. that like one of the guys who worked for the movies that talked about our trailer reaction what do you mean? remember our trailer reaction and someone came in someone who came in and talked about the whole thing I mean, mm-hmm. he was one of the guys that's that connected to the movie. Was it? I don't remember. I got to go back and, and double check it. Yeah, I, I'm double pretty sure it was. Yeah, yeah. he talked about. Yeah, he talked about very in depth. Gave us like four paragraphs. And I was like, oh, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember. I remember somebody leaving a long comment on it, but uh, yeah, he was yeah. he was someone connected to the movie. What's up, <laughs> Mama Bear? What's up? Uh, we got then we got What's Jason. Spoilers. What's, up? What's up, Jason? Uh, he said somebody asked me who the best actor and actress of the year so far. Uh, who made the best performance for you so far, actress and actress wise? Uh, Zendaya for actress. Yeah. Uh, actor. I mean, I would, I'd probably give it to Timothy. 
Like both of the leads in Doom. It might be like I, I, hmm. like I don't want to say it's you know best movie is Dune, best actor and actress. But so far we're you know four months in, and I, I, I at least the, from what I've seen. Um, I'm trying to think of what was another good movie, like a great movie this year. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's not many. I have to add um, um, those two to my list. I've watched like fifteen Warriors. movies. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> put on my list yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it really, I mean, Dune is is by far the best movie of the year. By far, you know. I mean, because Roadhouse was it was fun, but it wasn't like. It, it wasn't Jake's Nothing. best performance, you know. No, so it I, wasn't you know, life changed or anything. Well, you know, I mean, Dune. I mean, right now, Dune owns everything: best movie, best director, best. Dev Patel and Monkey Man was pretty it's, good. I'll give it for his first movie, <laughs> for his first director, uh, you know, debut. That was that was not bad. That was pretty yeah. good. And he, I mean, and, and, him acting yeah. in it was excellent. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I think Zendaya in, in Dune was just so much better than anything else I saw. I I, I think her... See, my problem with Timothy is that I think Austin Butler did a better job acting than Timothy. That's, but nah. he's not a leading actor. For, yeah, for me, I wouldn't he's even not quit. No. But I, I, for me, I put Timothy better than Austin. Because Austin was cool, but he was very like one-dimensional and just... I think the character was supposed to be one-dimensional. I still think yeah. that he... He didn't capture it for me, though. That's what I just, I just, so he just didn't catch it. I, I think that someone else could have done the same job. He has a cam, camera, camera time, but I feel like he's, he's the only, you know, he's not the only person that could have done that. Mm. You know, and that's kind of where I, I draw the line. But it is, I mean, it's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see what he said. Uh, he said, I uh, saw seven or eight this year for actresses as Sydney Sweeney and Rebecca Ferguson so far. What, what, what else was Sydney Sweeney in? Yeah, I was like, for what? Madam Web? Yeah, Madam <laughs> Web, and then that uh, their, their rom com. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I don't remember. Not you or just. Yeah. Oh, Immaculate. She was in Immaculate. Yeah. Oh, she was in Immaculate. I haven't seen Immaculate yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Zendaya. Yeah, she was an immaculate. Uh, I think the best from male is Dune has to be Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem was pretty awesome. He did a great yeah. job. He did. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, all I mean, all that cast in, in there, I thought did a really good job. Yeah. You know. So I mean, yeah. Because who else was in it? Jimmy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Harvey Bader, Josh Brolin was good. For, uh, Florence Pugh, it was okay. It was very yeah. It was, it's, you know, yeah. It wasn't that that deep. Yeah, you know the scars guard was was good. Uh, yeah, but yeah, damn, I'm looking at like all my friends on Letterbox for it. like five, four, five, 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 four and a half, four and a half, five, four, five, five. five. Jesus, man, like I mean, damn. <laughs> I mean, we know that that was one of the best movies that ever come out. Period. Yeah, yeah, in in, in, a, in a while, in a long time, but yeah. Hilary Swink for female. What was she in this year? What great movie was she in? Oh. Yeah, she was great. Yeah, I've been kind of falling falling off a little bit on, on the movies because I'm in. Mm-hmm. So I'll be at around 20 once I add in the movies that, uh, um, that I watched this, this weekend. I- I got to add all my stuff in because I've watched like 23 movies this year. I just haven't been doing yeah. it. <laughs> Put yeah. it in. I've been trying to keep up with it. Um, This weekend, I just was just a, one of those crazy weekends. So. Enzo, what was that? Varenic, Dev Patel, and Butler so far. Dev Patel was amazing, I think. I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Ukrainian actor. What, what movie is it? Oh, Society of the Snow. 
that was, I mean, was 2024. That 2023, technically. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. He was good in that one. He was good in that one. Uh, Ordinary Angels. Yeah, I heard she and the. Oh, that's right. She and the guy from Reacher are fantastic in the movie. Yeah. I yeah. heard that too. Yeah, Reacher was good. Yeah, the Reacher, Reacher guy was good. <laughs> yeah. 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 People are saying it's a really good movie. So I might, I might have to. I think Brandon's actually watch. said that. Uh, yeah. He was saying, you got to go see it. Yeah. So it came out in yeah. 20, January 2024 for everybody, but I could have sworn it was in 2023. Oh, really? Really? It's society of the yeah, I felt like it was 2023, but yeah. Oh, man, excuse me. I got to put that. I got to put that one on my list, too. But Oh, it's a yeah, select I'm at like 20. December. Okay. Well, I'm like, I could have sworn. Mm. But. Yeah. Yeah, for like one week, so I consider twenty four for more. No, yeah, when it gets like a uh the full release is I, I when I consider when you start. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh President said I got 14 2024 movies and 64, including uh other movies. Okay, nice. 14 is not bad, you know, still being you know, April. Really, March was was the only time like you went every weekend. I mean, March yeah. was like a crazy. Awesome I was month. going, I was going a lot still. Cause let's see, so yeah. Doom, Kung Fu Panda, Godzilla, Ghostbusters, uh, Bob Marley, Ghostbusters, Beekeeper, Mean Girls, saw uh, Madden Web, I saw Argyle, which is that. Yeah. Um, mm. saw Night Swim, Imaginary, I saw. Civil War now. I saw Monkey Man. Let's see. I feel like I saw a couple more, but just not thinking about it right now. (laughs) Oh, I just said Book of Clarence. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's technically uh twenty four, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's Book of Clarence, I saw like I mean, just saying. I f- like, I forgot about Book of Clarence because that that should be on my list too. I feel like I, I, I've hit twenty twenty two, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm about I'm about right there. I kind of want to go back and and do a lot of these other movies that that everyone else. Like, like, uh, Zach Attacks did his Edge of Tomorrow, uh, watch along. Oh, you know, that's so, so good. I, I love uh, it. I love the movie. It's really good. I bought, the, I bought the steel book. They had I got it, it over uh, here, too. Walmart. I was just, yeah. saying, I saw you got it. I was like, I got that over here in this pile. Yeah. yeah. But, like, so, like, uh, Kenny, he, you know, he was watching along with it. So he wound up making a review or, uh, you know, on Letterbox, you know. So I was like, I wonder if I should do something like that. Just put like old movies and just, yeah, I yeah. mean, we had the time. Edge of Tomorrow was such a good movie. I'm so disappointed that we never got a sequel. We, I think we are. I think they. Talk it's like, the, yeah, they have. Don't give me 14 years of. It's going to come out. <laughs> Only another Incredibles two. What year did it's it come happen. out? It's going to happen. 2004. Happen. Yeah, it's 10, 10 years. Yeah, like you know, yeah. That's a long time to be waiting for a sequel. Yeah, yeah. And sure, everyone looks the same, but come on, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely want to want to see a sequel for that one. I don't know. Mm, I guess if they continue the story, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, because you can just I, keep I on going. Go with the, yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, have you all watched Space Man? With yes, uh, I actually did with the spider. Weird as it's yeah. a weird, weird movie with that Adam Sandler, right? Yeah, it's that one. Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. I got. I, I want to watch it. Uh, I didn't know that ordinary, ordinary Angels had come out. I saw Blur Bones about. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It came out a while ago. Um. There you go. Jason said. Uh, Did you say Roadhouse. Is... Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> so he said seven lift, then six Godzilla Kong, uh, five Winnie Pooh, uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood Honey two. Four Immaculate, three Society of Snow, Dune 2, and then number one Monkey Man. Wow. 
I mean, yeah. I know a lot of people like it. I know a lot of people like it. It's like yeah. I think a lot of people are going to love Abigail. Yeah, oh, man. I'm trying to convince Erica to go see it this weekend. <laughs> because she doesn't like scary horror movies. But I'm like, yeah, but I think it's going to be more like kind of. It's goofy. almost going to be funny. Because she's yeah. like doing ballet stuff in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good. But I know Immaculate, I got to check that one out. Because I, I heard good good things. Sire Snow was good, and I got to put it on this year's list. I got to put Book of Clarence on this year's list because I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, in my opinion, Monkey Man was kind of mid. The action was good, but the beginning for the first time, I felt like uh, walking out of the theater and didn't wa- uh, and watch and I watched Monty. Wow, I thought the story was really good. <laughs> yeah, that's not yeah. the part I didn't like about it. Even yeah. though I don't think it should be called Monkey Man, because I think the mask was a waste. <laughs> yeah, it was and more of the. I mean, him being the Monkey Man, not like literal, but more metaphorical, as in like the the story, the story. of the Monkey Man. Kind of but thing. if he was gonna do that, and they called it Monkey Man, couldn't he just worn the mask? When he did all that badass stuff when he came back <laughs> here, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, get it. He he bleached it, he dyed it, and put it down. I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, "At least kick somebody's ass with it on." Like he took it off before he did anything with it. No, well, I, I thought that was weird. Uh, but my top three switched consistently. <laughs> I get that. I get that. Uh, it's crazy. My movie tournament for 2024 got upset already. We need to poop blood, honey. Knocked out Doom Part Two. Uh, what? <laughs> what? That, that, that's crazy, man. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, you, I don't know who voted in that, but uh, they should be shot or something. Yeah, they should be. They should watch Civil War and see uh, oh boy, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Um, her husband. Oh, uh, J- uh Jesse Plemons. Yes, Plemons. Oh man. Yeah, it's just like, mm. and that, that that whole scene was that that scene was intense. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. up, Xavier? Uh, Xavier said, "Yeah, I really missed the mark on Edge of Tomorrow sequel." Yeah, yeah, I, like, they, dude, it would have made so much money. I would have saw it fifteen times. I, I know I would love that. <laughs> I don't did the first one do well in theaters because I didn't care for it until. uh Really? Until until I saw it at home, and then I'm like, "Holy shit, this is a great movie!" Oh, I thought it was great after in the theater. I was like, "Man, this is amazing!" Yeah. So it says, uh, "Edge of Tomorrow Two is closer than ever thanks to Tom Hanks' new deal with Warner Brothers." Tom Cruise's or Tom Hanks? Tom Cruise. I'm sorry, Tom Cruise. <laughs> That's all thanks. So I'm like Hanks, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he, he, cause he, now he's uh, he's got that uh, that deal with uh, Warner Brothers where he's you know he's on their lot and everything like that. So he has his own studio yeah. in the in lot. It made three hundred seventy million worldwide. That's not too bad. And the not budget was low. Yeah, oh yeah, I bet. I, most of the budget went to Tom Cruise, him and Blunt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Budget was a hundred uh, one hundred fifty eight million. So oh oh really man? I thought it would have been a little lower than that. I thought I was gonna say like a hundred eighty to hundred. Well, like a hundred eighty. <laughs> uh, I would love a sequel to District Nine. That would be cool. It didn't make enough money. No, it, it became like one of those cult classics, like a you know kind of cult following kind of thing. Afterward, it's a good movie. It's a really good it movie. Is. It was a good yeah. movie when it came out. It's just no one, yeah, no one wants to still see it. Yeah, Mary Poppins was like forty year, forty years for a sequel. Yeah, it. I don't know. The second one, the sequel was okay. I wasn't. I didn't like. It, it. wasn't. It, it. It. It was missing something. It was just missing the like. I don't know. The magic. It wasn't good. I don't know. I. <laughs> what the yeah. Second? Yeah. Uh, these actor act- actresses that have two movies coming out or are out: Sydney Sweeney, Glenn Powell, and Bill Skarsgård. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, all three of them are like, well, Bill. Well, Skarsgård comes from the family, you know, exactly. so he's he's you know was gonna 
get up and coming no matter what. But Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell, you know, they're they're kind of going from like that. We've been waiting kind Glenn of stuff. take off for a while. I've been yeah. waiting for Glenn Powell to like he's been in big movies and done a great job. Just yeah. waiting for him like to take off. Like, okay, any day now, he's gonna yeah. do it. No, he's 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 in a a bunch of movies. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets if he gets if he gets uh asked to do something in DC or something in Marvel. It's Marvel. He's definitely gonna be yeah. asked. Good looking guy. Someone someone's gonna try to pull him in. Yeah, yeah. He's a good actor. You know, he's fit. He's young. He's, he's thirty five. Yeah. Eh, I mean, if he's in young, the movie world that's young. We're young. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in Holly, in Hollywood, like young is is in the thirties, but old is like in the fifties. So you get like that 10, 15 years, and then that's it. I don't know. Denzel like sixty six years old. He cut his hair down low. He was looking swag. Him and um, yeah. I was looking. I was like, what? Are you trying to trying to act like you fifty? <laughs> <laughs> Jason years off. Uh, Dancy. I just don't have a faith film for 2024. So far, nothing has really impressed me. Okay. I know. I, I still think you're wrong about Dune 2. I think Dune 1 was very good. I, I enjoyed it. I have the Dune, the Steel Booker over here, too. But I think Dune 2 mm. was better. You know? So I think Dune 1 was uh, story building. Dune 2 knocked it out of the park. You know? So I, that's just my opinion. Yeah. I, I I can see why people didn't like Dune One. You know, I'm like, yeah, I get it, but I was just like, kept telling people like, wait till the two comes out, and then obviously two came out and it was great. But I mean, it's almost it's at six hundred eighty five million dollars, something like that. Mm-hmm. Just uh, it's still not seven hundred, but yeah, they, they they extended the the run on it, so I, I do believe it gets to seven seven fifty. Yeah. Like that. I was hoping we get to eight, but yeah, I, I wonder because it was the first movie that came out, and then it was just like, you know, big big weekend for Kung Fu Panda, and then Ghostbusters had a big weekend, then uh, Kong Kong and Godzilla had a huge weekend. So, yeah, it was just like it started the lead with all these other great movies. So, said uh, Edge of, Edge of Tomorrow is a ten out of ten, and thir- thirty nine out of all time. Wow. Oh. I don't think it's on my all time list, but it's 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 good, really, really good a movie. That's a fun movie. Uh, at least do might get the, uh, in the tournament with another round, but yeah, blend honey for next year. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, are those votes from the same people who vote for Anzo's tournament? I yeah. don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I think he responded. I wouldn't mind a cocktail sequel. I would. My God. I don't need that. Yeah, how long? How long is that, man? <laughs> instead of instead of like cocktail, as in uh, uh, a, a liquor, <laughs> like he's so old, is doing cocktail as in like drugs. I like, guess. Uh, I was, I was thinking that it fermented so long that now it's poison. Like <laughs> cocktails <laughs> for a long time. It's been oh, man. fifty years not in the barrel, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Glenn Powell's the new white boy on the scene, like James Marsden was. Glenn Powell's been yeah. around for a long time, though. Yeah, but he's been around, but like he, like, was it I mean, a lot of movie? actors always been around, but they never break that that barrier, yeah, that barrier to get into that the stardom, you know, kind of level. I you mean, know? but he kind of did when he had when he had that uh, the, uh, was in Top Gun. Kind of felt like he was there, you know, to be that. Top Gun started it, you know. I mean, and then, and then uh, I, I love Devotion, but a lot of people didn't go see it. But he yeah. was like a starring person in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Wasn't he in Hidden Figures too? I feel like he was. I don't know. Possib- possibly. Could I? Th- I think we looked it up. And I think he was, but by then he, I mean, or back then he was probably still kind of. Yeah, that was back then when, when he was uh on the the debate team and uh, great debaters. He was in. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. He always gets wacky results. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Bob Marley, Monkey Man, Argyle, Ricky Sinicki. You have Monkey Man uh, below Argyle. I uh, I know be, be below Ricky Sinicki, <laughs> below <laughs> Madam Web. Uh, I don't I don't like the story. I'm uh I'm crazy. Shoot me. <laughs> uh, Thunderman's Return. Okay. Uh, Beekeeper, Ordinary Angels, Kung Fu Panda. Oh. Uh, Arthur, Arthur the King, I heard it was pretty good. It's a good one. Uh, um, no, that was too sappy for me. Yeah. Yeah. Godzilla, Roadhouse, Ghostbusters, and then Doom. Roadhouse 3. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm not hating on you. Yeah. So I saw Kong. Uh, Tom Cruise. So, yeah, it's everyone. Everyone's all, all time list. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> Anything Tom does, I'm I'm there for cocktail. Yes, sequel. <laughs> I'm like I'm glad you like Tom Cruise, but yeah, he's not on my all time list. Not even close. <laughs> he had some great movies. Yeah, excellent ones. But mm-hmm. like as for as an actor, like if I'm really talking about all time movies, Matt Damon probably mm-hmm. has more movies in my all time list than uh, most actors. That's that's not a bad. Thing that's what we should do. Like, who's got more, more lists? Like, oh, we should do a tier list of like actors just based on the work that they've done, mm-hmm. you know, not the amount of movies because you can go like Nick Cage and uh, Sam, Sam Jackson, Jackson, like, 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 that's right was saying. you know, I'm saying like, yeah, they got a bunch of movies, but not all of them are as bangers. But like, you can put those two next to like Matt Damon, and Matt Damon is like higher than them, exactly. So, I mean, some of the movies yeah. that Matt Damon's done has just been. I mean, he came out the box with like Oscar worthy performance, and you wrote it too. Like, yeah. come on, man. And he came out the box and swing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then The Martian uh, is one of the best things I've ever seen. Like, I love The Martian. Love it. Uh, yeah. Enjoy Glenn Powell and Devotion. He, yeah. Devotion I thought if the movie was, if they, was more good. people watched the movie, they would give him his flowers more. Yeah. That was a good one. He's become an a thing. It took a while. Yeah. yeah. So I'm playing as an older uh, Ben Riley. Mm. I just always thought him he should have been Scott Summers. Yeah, I think he needs to be a little bit more uh, front and center. I think, you know, Scott Summers is still. Yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, Hal Jordan." I'm like, no, 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 no. Scott Summers. He's Scott, Scott Summers. Summers. Let him be the, the 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 Boy Scout. Let him yeah do all those things that boys good looks. But you the only problem is you don't put Ben. A Ben Powell in your a Glenn Powell in your movie, and then cover his eyes up. You just don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you give him sunglasses most of the time. Um, still show off that jawline. That uh, Glenn Powell was waiter number two in Hidden Figures. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I mean, when they tried to make uh, what was that? Jay Courtney, Courtney and uh, Sam, Sam Worthington yeah. a thing, but they never. Quite took uh took off to that level to that next level. Great. Great. Yeah, more than Tim more than anything. I, I think he could have. I mean, Hollywood always like kind of goes after certain people or couples and try to push them, and I don't know. It's just sometimes it just don't take. So uh we got dark room views. What's up, dark What's room? Up, dark room. Uh so I just watched Bob Marley biopic this weekend. I like the film, introduced him to uh him at the peak of his career. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel, it it was more about the ex, about Exodus. The, it's almost like making of Exodus. Why he he made them uh, uh, that album, which is one of the highest selling and best albums of all time. I just I forget mm-hmm. that Bob Marley died at thirty six. Yeah, damn. Like imagine yeah, what he could have done. Like he was already the movement for all Jamaica. People were doing all those things. And then he made Exodus and Exodus. If you ever listen to it, I, I downloaded it on my own when I was working out. And I was like, man, this is just banger after <laughs> banger after banger. I'm like, man. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched that one yet. I need to watch that one. But I, I always thought it was like, it was towards the end of his life, right? And then it was it was about mm-hmm. like the message and everything going on with, with you know, the but wars and fighting and stuff. It was about him being, a, he, him, the you know, being almost killed while he left Jamaica, took his family where he sent his family, his complicated uh, relationship with his wife, uh, understand where Rastafarians are, what they believe in, 
that's really interesting. It's really interesting because, you know, why they believe what they believe is because how they were, how Christianity was brought to Jamaica. So, like, it's the more in depth, I think you actually like it because of those things. It's the history of it that go along with what's yeah. going on. Um, yeah, yeah, it's on my, it's on my watch list. I gotta, I gotta watch it. Oh, there we go. It was, it's good. <laughs> I mean, it's good. It, it wasn't great. It was not by any means, but it was good. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just sent Brandon a message. I'm like, oh, you still feeling good? Yeah, he's saying, oh, no, I was, yeah. No, I'm fine. I was just asleep. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I said. I, I, when I text you, I was like, hey, B, you awake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> busy, uh, busy day. Um, yeah, one of those Mondays. Yeah, so I had to go to the dentist. <laughs> yeah. That's a that, right That's there. always fun. That's always fun. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Drew? Viewer Drew, what's going on? Hey, Drew. Uh, yeah. I said, did you know Glenn Powell was in Dark Knight Rises? I think I remember reading something about that at one point. Might have been. Let me know who who which uh which character some of the kids maybe probably yeah to be yeah, somebody young at that point right yeah yeah was, probably an extra yeah the, I mean Dark Knight Rises what two thousand twelve no nine but twelve two thousand twelve because Dark Knight was, came out two thousand nine I thought right Dark Knight was two thousand eight yeah so then Dark Knight Rises would have been yeah yeah I guess two thousand twelve mm-hmm. then he would have been. 23? Yeah. Maybe like 23? That. Yeah. He could have been one of the, the cops. One of the, yeah. There were so many one background people. He, he would have to be one of the cops. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Derpy, what's up? <laughs> Always coming in for the troll. Not, the, no. The I baseball. told you. I already took Brian Pose's phone. Every time they call that number, it's going to be like, yeah. who this? Who this? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh erased. no, there's no Mr. Mr. Ryan Post here, no. And anybody from a Pittsburgh uh zip uh area code, area we code. Just block it. Exactly. Block it. <laughs> um we said excellent news. Today is my dog Bucky's birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Oh, happy Bucky. birthday. Oh, that's it's awesome. Always fun. That's great. Celebrate one of your, your fur babies. And yeah, my, my dog uh, a picture of him right here. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> but this is how it usually is right here. Screaming, <laughs> yeah, howling. He's, he's beagle. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Tom was in some goofy Scientology ceremony, and he had got a big speech at the end. I got that DVD because Tom had a speech. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Do you, you a bought a Scientology me. like That's ceremony? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh born on, on the fourth of July was dope. I don't think I've seen that one. It's a good one. Yeah. Eddie Brock for Glenn, uh Glenn Powell for Eddie Brock. I, I just don't because I see yeah. him only as as Scott Summers, like I believe so hard that he is the leader of the X-Men. And he's now at this point mm. in career that he could carry that and, and actually do it, especially at the yeah. uh, X Men ninety seven. I just can't see any other way. Any other way, I'm gonna yeah. be like, nope, nope, nope. It'd probably be great. I'd still be like, nope. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure Eddie Brock being like a huge like brood of a dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Glenn is not. I don't think. I don't think he's not menacing enough. You know what I mean? He, he, he doesn't, doesn't, like, he doesn't like he doesn't brood me. like he's not he's not yeah. brooding, you know. Mm-hmm. Like he's he's a pretty boy, you know what I mean? He's Scott Summers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's witty if, and, and good looking. So if not Scott Summers, I could I could see him as um Michael Carter, uh Booster Gold. Booster Gold, yeah. That, mm-hmm. that. that makes sense. I don't too. know if he's creative enough, he's witty enough to do that. That's um that. I mean, he was witty mm-hmm. enough in uh, Top Gun. Top Gun, yeah. Not really. You know, and, and too often. <laughs> What's that? I feel like yeah, out with it too often. Like Booster Gold, you need yeah. to be like 
You need to always be a comedian. He, you have to have yeah, that. Well, yeah. yeah, Booster Gold is kind of a he's kind of a doofus. He's kind of like yeah. um, you know, like a yeah, yeah. and and um you and, and kind of describing. <laughs> you know who you're describing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of a doofus. A little bit of a spaz. Mm-hmm. I mean exactly what James Gunn wants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Chris Pratt. Chris that's, Pratt. That's Chris Pratt, hundred yeah. percent. That's mm-hmm. that, that you literally described him. <laughs> that's a hundred percent what Chris Pratt is, who he is. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's that's not bad. Yeah, the Eddie Eddie Brock man, we have to, uh, I don't know. They gotta find something good. Um, mm-hmm. there are a couple of happy birthdays. Hate. <laughs> what? You do not I, like. I like Tom Hardy. I like Tom Hardy as it, but this, like it, that, the whole version of Venom is stupid. It's just yeah, uh, I agree. You know, Tom that, Hardy that could whole... have been a good, like traditional Eddie Brock. You know, instead he he's 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 goofy and a, and a doofus, and Venom is, is weird in it too. You know, mm-hmm. they make a whole hell of a lot of money. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, I can't say they're not successful. You know, I've seen all of them. Yeah, you know, I'll probably watch number mm-hmm. three when that one comes out too. But I mean, mm-hmm. anytime you make an eight hundred and fifty-six million dollars on the first one, you know, the second one was awful. Let there be carnage was awful. Oh, yeah. They made over five hundred million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Awful. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I'm not that, saying. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know I wonder if people are smart to it now. They're like, "Oh, we get it. You're not connected to Spider-Man. We don't give a shit." Yeah, you know. no. it's going to make it's probably gonna make more money. You think you think it'll make number, more than number two? Venom three would oh make way more than number two. That's not even hard. Because I I wonder if people are starting to figure out like oh Marvel slash Sony sucks. You know, because I feel like number one people were like oh Tom Holland's gonna be in it and they're gonna have this stuff and 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 oh, everyone was it's still rated high high. Really. On yeah. Rotten Tomatoes? Now, now that uh, let the be carnage is not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for for yeah. good reasons, but uh yeah. Mm. So people uh, like Venom. Like oh wow. Yeah. So Venom 2 is a 57. Okay. Yeah. Let's see so, that. Where's Venom 1? I can, Venom 1. Actually, it's, actually, it's actually lower. <laughs> but the, but the uh, audience liked it a lot. But yeah, critics hate it. Yeah, but the I mean the dialogue it. in it was so so bad. So it really bad. was. It was so well, bad. I mean, you know, and then it, it used it in uh, the Spider Verse. What? You know the Venom, even in the Spider Verse, we have Spot. Remember when he went to that the universe. Yep, I do. <laughs> I sure do. He went to the university, he's talking to the lady about it. He's like, "You're not. You don't oh, see. Freak out oh, at all. Yeah. I, I don't about this at all. Yeah. Have you seen crazier things than this?" And he was like, "Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that." Yeah, I'm trying to let's try to make it all together. But the first um, one got an eighty on the audience. Yeah, what with, with the critics though. Yeah, the critics that hated it, but the critics hate a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but the audience gives you 80. That's good. But the second one, the audience, critics gave it a 57. Uh, the second one. The second one was doo doo. Oh, yeah, terrible. Was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Awful. And the only thing I liked about the second one was the post credit scene. Yeah. Exactly. That, that's, we had to wait. that's the only <laughs> legit, that's the only good thing about that movie. Uh, and then they, mm-hmm. Let me just skip around a little bit. Uh, get some of these comments, and then we'll, we'll get some of these reviews. Uh, Dark Room said, uh, "I had it in my head that he was he was shot, but in fact, he died on cancer. Never knew that." I'm talking about Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So he was shot. So Bob Marley was shot, but he was shot. He didn't die. And yeah, um, his wife was shot in the head for real. Oh, oh, damn! I didn't know that. She didn't die either. <laughs> wow really yeah you survived the shot in the head hey dreadlocks 
<laughs> Lock a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Derpy said, Bob, the Bob Marley biopic is actually my favorite movie of the year so far. Okay. Wow. I praise <laughs> Mama Bear. It's Batman. <laughs> He only uh he only comes out at at night. <laughs> uh, I want to see damage with Sam Sam Elm. Yeah, I want to see that. Although I heard it's not good. I've, I've been seeing some reviews terrible. on it and not good. Uh, that Glenn, is a uh, good times. Oof. Oof. I I wasn't gonna watch it, and then uh, luckily, uh, um, Double Toasted, I believe that's their name. They yeah. uh, they they wind up reviewing it. I'm like, right, let me see what they say, and then I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everything we, I was we we said and we we you know ranted about was was true. So, but they they said the first two episodes might be the two worst episodes anything has ever done on on TV ever. Yeah, yeah. the first two episodes are like you. You literally did so much harm, and you probably ruined your childhood. That's how bad the first two episodes were. They said it got a little bit more tolerable as it went along because they distanced themselves away from um, the TV show. But mm-hmm. yeah. it's still, I don't know, all, watching it, their review made me realize, yeah, I just don't want to see it. I don't want to see just, it. I, I don't, I don't yeah. want to have to go through it. I just don't. Yeah. Like they made a good argument of like you put it on Adult Swim, don't attach it with the name Good Times, and it would have been people would have like, loved it. Okay, yeah, but you know, you know what? And, and but we, his point was that the way that they depict black people on Adult Swim oh, is yeah. not good. Yeah, they don't. You know, it's all tropey. But then my my yeah. my, my my pushback with that was that everyone on Adult Swim is all tropey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is, is, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, you're not going to expect high uh, level of like you want character thinking, development, you know, <laughs> character <laughs> development, you know, when it's like, oh, what comes on after Assy McGee, you know, which was an <laughs> actual show on Adult Swift. It was, yes, you know, it was. <laughs> you know, so yeah, you, you're not getting a high brow kind of thinking stuff, so. Exactly. You know, exactly. Yeah. So some some stuff was good. I always liked the uh, loiter squad, which was like uh, yeah, uh, uh, Tyler the Creator and his you know group, but but with all the guys from Jackass. So it was like Jackass with Tyler the Creator and and his referee what his his group is. But that shit was hilarious. Hmm. Well, no. I mean, what they said um, about Black Dynamite is true, but I still really like yeah. Black Dynamite. Yeah. I watched Black Dynamite. Yeah, I was Black Afro Jesus Samurai. Was, Black Jesus was bad. Afro Sam- Samurai mm. was very good. Like Afro Samurai was amazing. Was that was ooh. I I think I watched it once and I was like, eh, I just didn't. I watched care it a couple a couple it. episodes. It was yeah, it was just yeah. I mean, there's a lot a lot of the live action stuff on Adult Swim never really hit with me too much. You know, mm-hmm. like there's the the one like hillbilly redneck guy that was like a werewolf hunter. I forgot what it was called. That was stupid. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. And mm-hmm. another one where they're like a like NCIS kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I, I didn't care. Like all the live action stuff, I was just kind of like, eh. None of it yeah, really. There, most of it didn't hit. I think there was some of it I liked. Yeah. What up, Danny? Hey, Danny. I think what it is is when, I mean, comedians will do whatever they can. You know, mm-hmm. like, they, they're going to do whatever. They're not trying to be thoughtful about it. If you think it's funny, they're going to they're gonna do it. It's funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Tank did, yeah. like, Afro Samurai. No, I think he said. He, he, oh, no, I did. No, I, yeah, 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 I said, yeah. this is awesome. I love that show. <laughs> oh, that, was, that was a good one. Yeah, that for uh, you know, you know, Bob's Burgers, bo- the Boondocks, obviously. I did like Boondocks. China, Illinois. Uh, Hulk Hogan was in that one. That was mm-hmm. super weird, you know. But which other ones? Yeah. I, li- I liked Moral Oral. Um, Moral Oral. Oral. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a good one. Mm-hmm. 
What's the one with the dog where he's the devil? P- uh, Pickles, Mr. Pickles. Pickles. That was that was pretty that was weird. Off the chain. That was mm-hmm. insane. That was I think you'd still find it on um on Hulu if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mike Tyson Mysteries. Mike Tyson awesome. Mysteries is I will, hilarious. I would oh, argue yeah. that so much. I was like, that was so good. That was so good. Uh man. But yeah, but so I was about to take his honorary <laughs> black card. <laughs> take it, you gotta rip it up. You ever seen those those, those sketches? Give, give me the black card. Give, give it to me. Again. <laughs> yeah, go and keep in front of the committee to get another one. I'm sorry. I know, what's the what's the dude on uh on TikTok? Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, you're invited to the cookout or whatever. You're invited to the cookout or not, yeah. <laughs> you get a day pass. You can't come to everyone. You, you, come, you get a day pass today. <laughs> Man, oh, I'm lo- I'm looking at all these uh, all these Adult Swim. Primal, Primal was one of those shows where there was like zero dialogue. It's a caveman and and his pet T Rex. Mm-hmm. It was such a good show, man. If you haven't seen Primal, it is it is super action, super high, high high like action, and it was so. Uh, good, man. It's only action. There's no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it was, and that was the, that was from the creator of Samurai Jack, if I remember correctly. I believe so. I, 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 yeah, mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah, but then there's other ones like uh, like Smiling Friends. I was so hyped for Smiling Friends, and I will wind up being super disappointed. Super yeah, didn't you and uh, Fredo try to do a review of it or something? I was like, all right, yeah, y'all. yeah. We did a you review for it, and we got so much hate. We got so much hate on it. They're like, you guys don't know. I was like, man, I've seen this before. It's it's fucking Ren and Stimpy. Like, like, like I'm just like, what? At least like Super Jail and and stuff like that. Like Super Jail Squidbillies are just stupid. Squidbillies. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, Squidbillies. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. All right. That was that was a rant. <laughs> Super off off the. Uh... We have 56 uh, minutes. We need to re- re- yeah, re- I know. I know. Uh, who, who else came here? I know. Uh, where is he? Tony is Tony came up in here. What's up, What's Tony? Up, Tony, What's going on, Tony? Uh, I'm gonna get retwisted just so you know. Right before we go to <laughs> uh, C2E2, so I'm coming out, coming for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Afro Samurai, the game. I didn't know there was a game. There's a, yeah, um, it's kind of like a prequel of uh, to the show, if I remember correctly. It's like Afro when he's like a teenager, or young adult, if I remember. Correctly. Oh, yep, exactly. Oh, I mm-hmm. uh, Dan said Primal was good. Uh, they were enemies at first, and then they, yeah, they had to work together to survive. Yeah, and then they, it's like a friendship where like they do everything, like look out for each other, and it's awesome. It's super awesome. Uh, when does the interview with Vampire come back on May, May 15th? Yeah, Mother's Day, whatever it comes oh, back Mother's on Day. Mother's Day. Yep. So that yeah. night, Mother's Day, yeah, that's when you're gonna get it. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Brain Stimpy was one of the greatest cartoons ever. <laughs> I, I, I can't argue with that. I wasn't allowed to watch Rain Stimpy. Yeah, I was allowed to watch it. I watched it. Mm-hmm. It was, uh, it was, man. Yeah, I mean it's so, a lot of potty humor, a lot of stupid stuff. But and then it came back uh, on MTV, like mm-hmm. full adult, like it was full adult, like raunchy and stuff. So it wasn't as good though. I feel like almost being naughty is more funny than actually being like naughty. You know what I mean? You know, and it reminds me like the crusty when crusty is like, oh, swear words aren't funny. Words that sound like swear words are, words funny. are funny. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so it's, yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> One hundred percent true. Uh, Retro nerd girl, what is up? What's Thank up? you for coming back. Uh, said casually lurking. Uh, you guys mentioned Dolph Swim Show. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everyone is saying hi. Yeah. We get into that all that stuff. I mean, uh, oh man, that's gonna be such a a shitty thing once Warner Brothers takes away Cartoon Network and Adult Swim is just all those go go away. All the shows yeah. go. Yeah. And it, so many so many of them were so goofy and weird, but also like you miss the whole anime thing, man. And like I feel like Adult Swim 
you know, and Toonami was such a big movement for anime in America. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I agree more you know, with Toonami uh, than Adult Swim. Toonami, I feel like, was essential for, like, even my introduction into any, you know, a lot of, of anime. Uh, anime. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, same. I remember watching, like, falling asleep and waking up in the middle of an episode of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yes, that's exactly. Oh what and I'm like, what is what this? The hell this is, is crazy. This? <laughs> and I remember the episode, which is like the best episode to get hooked on it. And that's when uh, they're staying with the dude, and the dude has the daughter and the dog. Oh, yeah. That's the episode where I'm like, kind of half awake. And then, like, I remember watching it. I'm like, man, it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, glued to the TV. I was like, no, he didn't. That man did not do that. And I was like, what? I was like, I lost it. I was like, oh, man. I put DVR every single episode. I want to watch this all right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think I have the entire run of Full Metal Alchemist, and then I have the entire collection of Brotherhood, the uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. So that was so good. Um, all right. All right. Go. It's on HBO. Yeah. But, but how long? Yeah. Yeah, because pull pull this up. Let me see. Oh, who's having y'all seen the, the catch AI trailer? Coming catch trailer? Yep. No, I haven't. I actually have. So yeah, yeah. Let's pull it up. Yeah. Check it out. What's uh, up, Travis? Travis? Travis, what's going on? Full Metal Alchemist and, and Wolf's Rain was amazing back then. Wolf's yeah. Rain. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Uh, by far one of the, the gross cartoons was YOLO on, on a, uh, Adult Swim. It sounds familiar. I can't. I don't think I watched that one. I can't remember which one that one was. Adult Swim. I mean, you say cartoon on Adult Swim, and you know it's going to be probably just dirty and blood or sexual or just weird. So, mm-hmm. yeah, Squ- Squid Billies was still it's one of my like guilty pleasures because it's so stupid it's so stupid man it is stupid though yeah like i still want like uh one of the the booty hunter you know with the trucker hat with the booty hunter just to have it i won't ever wear it, I just want to have it. erica will uh, never let you walk out of the house with that i don't know what you're talking right, about no way no way <laughs> uh the one where he man at the end of henry cavill in it what yes yeah that's it. Oh, yeah. 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 You got it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, here, let me see real quick. We we'll watch this and then we'll, we'll watch that. Uh, we'll finish up these and then we'll watch that. I always remember the episode of Hair On where uh, was that Oscar, Oscar, the Czech guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, who has the baby, who has to babysit the, baby the poor, the baby poops itself during its poker game and he puts the baby out in the hall. I don't remember that. That sounds wild <laughs> for a Nickelodeon show. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I want another Vampire D. Oh yeah, and another Fist of the North Star. Both of Fist them. Of the North like Star. Fist of the North Star. Yeah. yeah, those are great. Vampire D was awesome. I'm watching that, Yolo was uh, was the one with two female friends in Australia. Oh, still don't remember it. I th- I I. I think I know which one you're talking about. I think I know which one you're talking about. When you said Australia. Squibbly is hilarious. Squibbly is so bad. (laughs) Well, again, like, you know, it's like, like you said, like, they didn't, you know, uh, um, show, like, you know, a lot of, like, black characters in, like, positive lights. It was like. They didn't show any characters (laughs) in positive lights at all. That was yeah, I was like, you want like you know, hillbilly white trash like squidbillies. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, let's let's watch this thing. I want to see what this thing's about. Yeah. Got it up. Let's see, right. check this out. Thundercat. Oh, geez, Henry Cavill and Alexander Daddario.
That's it. Yeah. Oh, let me take. Nah. Yeah, that actually would make sense. <laughs> that would be the most realistic. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually he definitely he did. too. Yeah, he circus he's circus skeleton. Yeah. I mean, was... All right. that, that wouldn't be too bad. No, I uh, I could definitely see if they do it at Alan Richardson as 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 He Man. He Man, like he mm-hmm. should do be He Man no that. matter what. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could I could really see that. Yeah, yeah, because then that that new movie that uh uh ungentlemanly warfare whatever it's called Ministry of Un- like, Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yeah, yeah, he's jacked in that one, like. Jack, I was like, "Jeez, man!" Like, I mean, he, yeah. you know, he's only two thirty. Like, he's not that huge. But when you compare yourself, because he's six four, two thirty. When you compare yourself mm-hmm. to someone who's like five eight, one hundred and sixty pounds, one hundred seventy pounds, that looks like they're Jack. You eclipse them, yeah, because you literally are that much bigger. I, I think that's kind of what happens. Yeah. Like I feel like when I'm standing next to Marvin, I look like a regular person. But if I stand next to someone <laughs> who's regular, I look like a giant. You know, just, just what it is. It's all relativity. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this just suck. Don't waste your time. <laughs> uh he said I would fall asleep with Cartoon Network on as a kid, wake up to Aqua Teen and Robot Chicken questioning if it was real or dream. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> robot Definitely with robot chicken. I love robot chicken. Yeah, robot chicken's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, it was brought. They could pull this off. One, the budget would need to be like three hundred million, million just <laughs> just for paying everybody, <laughs> just for but just for uh, you know, paychecks. Yeah, you, know. you have to do all CGI. Because you couldn't afford what it would to take to be a live option. Yeah, it, you couldn't do it. Yeah. 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 If you do CGI and you do um, do just voice, you know, work, it, it'll probably be more reasonable. You have Alan Richardson would be He Man. Uh, who, would, who would you see as Prince Adam? That's a good question. That's huh. a really good question. He could probably do both, right? No, because when he's Prince Adam, just give him loose kind of clothes. He's still six four two thirty. Yeah, I, I you can do movie you tricks and stuff. You can make him look smaller than. But then it's gonna look stupid, like Captain America. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because even in the cartoon, Prince Adam was still like jacked in his like hot pink shirt or whatever he was. You know, the mm-hmm. only thing that changed was like the shirt went off. <laughs> you know, he was still like yeah, pretty much the only thing that changed was were his clothes. Yeah, <laughs> I always thought that he was still smaller. Like yeah, he was smaller. The, the newer one, he's he's definitely much shorter, smaller, thinner. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I don't know. I would have to think about that. 
Uh, I just don't like fan made. I just feel like it's disrespectful to the art of the culture of the film. I wouldn't call it disrespectful. You know, if if, if anything, it's a very respectful. Yeah. Um. You know, they're. You know, it's it's just kind of reinforcing the fact that this has a that that these things have a fan base. Um. You know, it's not like it's a Michael Bay situation where it's just kind of like spitting in the face of the content. <laughs> um. Usually, <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, I wouldn't call it disrespectful. I, you know, I, I, if if anything, I, I, I find it very respectful. It's it's kind of reinforcing the fact that you know things people want to see stuff like this potentially get made. So yeah, yeah, reinforcing some, the fact uh, that there's a fan base. Yeah, there's some good fan film kind of stuff. Bat in the Sun. Um, that's a whole studio. Of Bad just, in the Sun is awesome. Of of film film kind of stuff, you know, they do mm -hmm. like, hey, what if Green Ranger fought uh Ryu from Street Fighter, and it is it looks amazing. Epic. I love yeah, it. it's epic. Yeah. They actually got Jason David Frank to come in and do it, and mm -hmm. it was it was epic. You know, so, yeah. Um, the the what are they called? Like Superpower Beatdown or something like that. I think it's yeah, Superpower called. Beatdown. Yeah, those are amazing. Like they yeah. had like matchups like. Wolverine versus Predator, you know, Batman versus, um, well, like Batman's been on there a couple times, Punisher versus Red Hood. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, you talk about this Batman, uh, Batman Superman. Did you guys see that comic strip about Batman Superman? So they're arguing, let's meet uh, on next Thursday. We'll fight on Thursday. And then Batman comes in, he calls him, he says, I'm sick, I can't come out. Oh, he's in, and Superman says it's because I gave you polio, and he was like, "You gave me polio? What? Why would you do that?" He said, "Oh, so it's not funny when it's okay to give me a green rock that gets me sick, but it's, it's all fun, it's, it's all funny games. <laughs> yeah, I give you polio, so you know, it's, you know, you don't like it then, huh?" So I thought that was hilarious. I think I did see that one. <laughs> she cheats. Mm -hmm. uh, did you send it? I remember seeing it today, and I didn't get a chance. To, oh yeah, you did send it. I did send it. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I I didn't get a chance to to look at it yet. But yeah, that's funny. Those she are always good, like <laughs> back and forth. Uh, man, he's a beast and reacher. Yep. Uh, actors go through a three day dehydration to look extra cut on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, got it. If Alan is He Man, uh, Tanner Buchanan, Robbie from Cobra Kai is Adam. That makes more sense than the newer He Man because the newer He Man, yeah, he is much mm. smaller. Looks like the same mm -hmm. face, but just, just jacked. Um, yeah. The old one, yeah, he, he literally looked like he just put clothes on. He was a little bit smaller, but his biceps were still bulging. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so at least the original Thundercat, uh, Fan made trailer with Brad Pitt and Vin Diesel was original, uh, and done with hardcore masking with action in it. Yeah, this that that's just AI this stuff. Is this just, is a concept with AI, what you could do with the people. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's just like fan casting, but you can go to like the next level and actually sh show it. So like I'll it's look. crazy where you can just literally type it in a computer and they're like, "Here you go. Here's how Henry Cavill will look as Lionel." It was like, damn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I like what Mama Bear said. Uh, have fun with it, Dan Donald, Glover. <laughs> Donald Glover as Prince Adam. <laughs> oh man, you want to see uh, Chills' uh, head pop, let's pop off? Like just, just explode. <laughs> <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> uh, Adam was Jack in the original cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> like things said, the only thing that changed was Adam was uh, that is Adam is, is Snow White. His, uh, he made his hand. <laughs> That's funny. I gotta go back and check that out. He's Hold on. See if I can pull it so, up. By the power of Gray, gray Skull. I'm lighter. What the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, Brandon said, uh, I feel like uh, you out here trying to trick people like views and recycling old footage, pawning it as new stuff actually coming out to be released. Yeah, I mean, they do that with some of the trailers. I, that I don't like because I feel like that's more clickbaity. We're like, oh, here's a trailer for this movie. 
you know, and then people watch it and you're like, it's just clips from old stuff and other stuff that they merge together. That you was know, that I feel is that, that that's was, not a fan made, you know, that's that's clickbaity, like a fan made, like a, um, a really good one is uh, Star Wars Theory. You know, mm-hmm. I really don't watch his stuff anymore, but I probably watch when he does his next Vader episode because it's pretty good. That's better. That la- that, yeah, that last Vader fan made film that he did with Vader was 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 pretty awesome. Yeah, hold on. Here you go. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, you're right. Adam. I mean, <laughs> it looks exactly the same here, but he's just not as big. I mean, yeah. He's, I mean, if if you wear a skin tight undershirt and your muscles are still popping out like that, like you're Jack, man. <laughs> like you know what though, I would I would laugh my ass off to see Alan Richardson like. In dressed in like a pink, you know, button down sleeveless shirt with a white skin tight. <laughs> with the uh, they both have loincloths. She said, I'm, purple. "I'm only Adam. I'm not he man. I'm not the same guy." Yeah, as he points and just rips through his shirt every single time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was funny. That's funny. I didn't. I didn't notice the skin color thing. That's 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 kind of funny. Yeah, somehow I've never noticed that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, we'll get into our reviews in a second. Uh, I pick up a Morbius comic, and when I was younger, he wants to meet Spider Man. Uh, so he kills a pimp named Dick Dick Packer. Is it? So that's an one I'm and throws him off the Daily Bugle roof in front of it, Peter. Was that how is that, is that real? I don't remember that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I I remember the cartoon one of Morbius, like his that origin. Oh. That sounds intense for a comic, <laughs> even for a comic. Uh, the only thing different in the original cartoon was Adam was white and He-Man was black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Batman versus Vader was fire. Yeah. They yeah, they had alternate movie. endings. I remember that. Yeah. Once yeah. again, it doesn't make sense. Vader should kill Batman. Like it should. I don't understand. And, and if I if I remember correctly, Vader did win the initial um, ending, and then probably you know Batman fanboys probably raged and oh prep time and oh contingency plan. So no, they probably he's made a, a they made the alternate video. To, he's a cheater. Like he's a cheater. Batman is Tom Brady. That's what Batman is. He's Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cheater. Be. Bringing overly prepared is not cheating. He's, by by getting once again, if if, if if Superman gives him polio, then who's the bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> who's the bad guy now? Right? You know, just saying. That is funny. Oh, the one thing that kills me, you're gonna go, go buy a lot of it. How about I just do that to you, and yeah, then say let's fight tomorrow. <laughs> oh man. Uh, how y'all never know that about He Man? I he's he man is not whatever He Man is tan. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. still blonde. With the same he Man is far from black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he introduced a bigger change between Adam and He Man than itself. Uh, self tan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a real comic, not the cartoon with it. More recent Boho Hand. Yeah, that's remember the little suckers. That's yeah. funny. I gotta look that up. That's insane. Oh <laughs> uh, man, uh, Batman fanboys versus Star Wars fanboys is an equal debate. Nah, that's equal, that's equal, a hundred percent. You gotta make uh, Danny go crazy over here. He goes, Batman's a cheater. What? Oh, remember, <laughs> he's my favorite hero, but he's a dude. That's my whole basis of the whole concept. <laughs> he's a dude. This should not. The only way he so he's smarter than everybody. No, he just goes to a level that other people won't go. He just goes somewhere that other people just won't do. That's what it is. He is so if he does something that other people won't go, what's the de- definition? He's cheating. <laughs> Everyone follows a certain set of rules. He doesn't follow that rule. What's that called? Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I mean, still, he's still the greatest hero of all time. I, I still think because, <laughs> because he does have that. He is that guy. Yeah. 
he is he's he's me he's you Danny he Batman is literally you with you know with uh, unlimited funds and contingency right. plan outside of everything he's just a guy you should not be running with everybody else but he's able to because oh, he's a, he's willing to go further than anyone else is work uh, willing to. Mm-hmm. That's what happens yeah, when uh, when you lose everything. Man. Mm-hmm. If Batman has contingencies for every member of Justice League, he he likely has something to shut down Cyborg. Yeah, which uh, may be able to use for Vader cybernetic parts, giving him a leg up. I mean, I right. I guess all you need to do for Vader is hit an EMP. <laughs> Boom, you're done. Exactly. <laughs> breathe now. <laughs> you can't breathe. He's like, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just in. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's a prequel lover. You know, as you go down a path, I can't follow. <laughs> Breaking my heart. <laughs> it's okay, Danny. I got the high ground now. Oh. That's all. Don't try it. I got the high ground. Yeah. <laughs> you can't create uh, counter methods for a force choke. You can't. But once again, you can't do it. If, if anyone, if it's a fair fight, Batman can never win. Because he's human. He's us. <laughs> you can't win then. His thing yeah. is that he's willing to go further than once. He's going to plan things out. Other people just don't know what's going on. He's like playing... Oh yeah, we're gonna do this equally. Oh, they're like, oh, there's no way you're gonna be able to do anything. And Batman's like, I'm playing on it for everything that you, 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 your, your weaknesses. I'm doing all that. Now, if if those superheroes did the same thing that Batman did, I don't understand how. You know, Batman sleeps, then they kill him in his sleep. Like I don't know. Like it's just like <laughs> things that just don't equal in his ship. You know, Vader grabs the ship and Force throws it. You know, into the sun. You lost. You know, it's just not the does. same. <laughs> oh man, no, y- y'all arguing about Batman, which we could do that forever. So no, yes, no, exactly. yeah. we're gonna get some, re- we're gonna get some reviews, man. I see y'all. That's exactly why I'm keeping my mouth shut. Yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna have one episode of just like uh, you know, do I have that picture? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. you have. I just need my face on there with a sip, a sip of tea. <laughs> Changed my mind. Yeah. Actually, uh, it, it, this is going to be the whole episode, like, one day. Like, it's just it's just be me and Brandon on the side, and we're just going through comments, and then you're just <laughs> arguing with chat. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> this is argue with every single person. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> Watch it be like the highest, most views we ever got ever. <laughs> oh man, because it, it makes it sound like yeah. I don't like him. Like I do. I, he's my like. He's a hero. He's a great hero. He's a dude. He's me. He's you. We don't win against these guys unless you were willing to go further than anyone else is willing to go because you're a sociopath. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, yeah. <laughs> Blame Brandon. <laughs> it's your, it's your shirt. <laughs> you know you can't wear Batman stuff around Brian. <laughs> you know it, it, it triggers me, man. It just triggers me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, jeez. Exactly. Uh, what, yeah, you what Brandon just said. <laughs> yeah. Ice, Ice brothers, brothers, brothers. Brothers. Tell Batman to Green put the Green Rock down and face, face Superman straight up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you like him, I can't tell. <laughs> I'm just not under this 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 thought process that he can beat these other people straight up. He wouldn't be able to. He can't. Mm. But that's not mm. the point of Batman. Batman, once again, he's rich, he's brilliant. He's worth it, willing to go further than you will ever be willing to go. He will work hard and everything. You will, you know, he does all those things. But all those things I just mentioned pair, pale in comparison to someone who's ready for a fight. The Superman is ready for a, a fight to the death. He just will kill him if he has to. If he's able to punch him as hard as he's able to punch anyone else, he would explode him. Like that's. But 
the Batman cheats and gives him polio and then says, let's fight. Oh, look, I'm going to punch you with polio gloves. You know, like, I'm going to get a polio <laughs> and hit you with it. Like, come on, man. You cheated. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Uh, that that is kind of funny. I never I never thought about it that way, but yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, uh, <laughs> big for What's, What's, What's up, Anzo? What's going on? Hey, I'm I tell I'm Team Anzo. Tank over there is Team Chill. I don't know, man. I'm Team Anzo. <laughs> man, I watched that video in the morning. I was like, what the? Fuck? He's mad. He's, he's like, I'm Team Anzo. I don't care. Well, I was ready. I was ready to come in here. I'm like, oh, we're gonna argue Green Lantern. Let's go. But like, I already know I'm gonna be on Anzo's side with. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Oh man, that was. Oh, uh, I didn't say why would you put uh, your vantage yeah. down? <laughs> Don't make a good sense. It's not. Uh, then, then let me use my stuff. Let me do the same thing. Like, let me give you. AIDS and then say, let's fight tomorrow. All right. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> no, that doesn't that doesn't work. Right. Oh, that's not fair now. Now, now Superman is, is mean, right? You do the same thing. <laughs> he owns everything. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's uh, uh, you, you better be team <laughs> <laughs> No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, that's why on Twitter, I was like, oh, but, damn, man. I'm, Twitter reply. I was like, okay. Uh, what would really happen if Justice League kicked out Batman? He changed the locks. <laughs> right? No power for you. Boom. <laughs> All bills not being paid. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Superman, go, go live in your ice hole. Wonder, Wonder Woman, your invisible plane. <laughs> repossessed yeah <laughs> all right uh just come back from monday night raw <laughs> oh that's awesome that is awesome wrestling still still the more uh that's like when cap fought stark yeah cap had the edge because he has the powers I wouldn't call them powers. Um, he's just a he's a peak human. No, it's still um, super surge soldier serum, which is something we can talk about because Captain America Four is about to come out. Uh, the trailers will come out and stuff, so something we yeah. can talk about because mm -hmm. there's something that happens in that with Isaiah Bradley that you're going to be like, oh, well, yeah, it's not fair. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but it was also uh, two on one. Yeah. So <laughs> with uh, the Cap uh, Stark fight, because it was Cap yeah, and true. Winter Soldier, two two mm -hmm. super soldiers versus uh, versus the last guy fifteen and... minutes of that movie. Last fifteen minutes of that movie pissed me off so much because <laughs> they do Cap is a terrible friend, a terrible yeah. friend. So he was good to Bucky, dude. You've been looking me in my eye. We've been partners all this time, and you just let you that... set me up for that. That's that's yeah. Yeah, I agree with that part. Yeah, yeah. Like, horrible. <laughs> I, I was, I, I was for the most part, I was team captains on the last fifteen minutes of that movie. Screw you, Steve. Screw you. <laughs> well, so you've known this the entire time I've, I've been here. Like that's yeah. so messed up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, dude, we could, you could have got me drunk and told me and and you know figure things out. Yeah, Steve was Steve was taking his bromance with Bucky to psychotic levels. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But friggin' prick. <laughs> friggin' piece right. of shit. <laughs> Get real angry, man. Mm -hmm. uh, um, all right, let us talk about uh some movie news first. A good segue out of out of out of all this madness. Yeah, Batman. Yeah, yeah. So. Crawl out of that hole. You know, yeah. you gotta make the jump. Mm -hmm. Uh let me see if I bring this up real quick. So I fixed my internet. My internet is at least good. I haven't I haven't finished my computer updates yet. I got my RAM in there. <laughs> so that's all that matters. Yeah. 
Well, I got to put my my new uh, hard drive in there with four terabytes. I got a four terabyte hard drive. I got to put in my computer. So space will take problem. You, how long is it going to take? It shouldn't take too long. No, for you. That's to do easy. It. No, that I got to do. I got to. <laughs> Uh, I keep getting the message like, oh, you're out of space. It's like, shit. <laughs> but I figured we'll talk about uh, some news that kind of came out today. And then uh, then we'll get into our reviews and then some trailers and stuff like that. Uh, the don't jinx it. <laughs> All right. Let's get this going. All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Kramer. I'm with Brandman Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we are going to talk about the brand new news we got today. Uh, Keanu Reeves is going to voice uh, Shadow and Sonic 3. So, what do you guys think about that? Everyone thought it was going to be Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker, mm -hmm. and uh, we got trolled a little bit. It said, nope, we're going to get Keanu. What do you guys think? I'm good with it. Um, I'm good with 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 him as Shadow. I'm 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 fine with that. Yeah. I was um I was kind of when they mentioned Hayden Christensen originally, I was kind of hard set on that. But but Keanu Reeves is is a good choice too for Shadow. Um, kind of crazy to think that now like people like Idris Elba and Keanu Reeves are um, like staples on this franchise. Because originally it seemed like this was going to go south real quick with the initial Sonic design, and now look at him. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good with this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the long and the short of it, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't mind Keanu in in Toy Story. Um, you say. I think he could do. He does good voiceover work. Uh, mm -hmm. He has a distinctive voice that kind of works. So I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, I still will like Hayden Christensen. I think that's a okay. better choice mm -hmm. um, all together. But Keanu Reeves has the star power behind it, and I think that's where you go with. You're going with the star power instead of. But you really should be thinking about. I think it's just what how's the fit works, and you know, mm -hmm. it is what it is. You know, you'll be able to tell who's who because it's gonna be such a distinctive uh, voice. Um, mm -hmm. Just when I think of Shadow, I think Hayden Christensen, which has been perfect because I just think that's that Darth Vader type of thought. Even you know, just mm -hmm. your mind will always go back to that, and I think that mm -hmm. darkness goes with it, and it just works really, really, really well. But I'm not going to sit here and hate on Keanu. Yeah, yeah. I I, agree I with think that. this yeah. is like. Perfect. I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, because like Hayden, I don't think when I think of Hayden, I don't think of Vader. I think of whiny Anakin when I think of mm -hmm. Hayden. You know, with Keanu, he's very monotone, he's very one leveled, and that makes sense for like an artificially like made, you know, fake version of Sonic. You know, and I, I feel mm -hmm. like that 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 kind of makes sense. Yeah, you because know, even with uh, like I I thought well, the guy who voices Sonic I can't think of his name uh uh Ralph ben Schwartz from Community um uh, Ben Schwartz yeah. um, Ben Schwartz perfect goofy yeah goofy sorry if I'm a little laggy a little goofy has that voice fits it really well Idris Alba absolutely crushed it as as Knuckles I thought that was amazing mm -hmm. and I I really think Keanu is going to be kind of good you know like just hey do your John Wick thing but we're just going to have, have you be Sonic instead of instead of uh, John Wick mm -hmm. bring that down I don't yeah. know uh, see, so. Hayden Christian I, I think that he was whiny in the first two movies the third one he was just badass and you see the evil taking over and then to go with the Ahsoka stuff and what we've gotten recently I think it just mm -hmm. it, it's added to him, and you know that's why I thought that it would it would match really really well. Um, but am I, I can't still hate on Keanu Reeves. I don't hate anything Keanu Reeves is in. And as I said, his voiceover as Duke Kaboom was was awesome. So I just I can't hate on it at all. I just kind of had my mind, my heart set on one thing, 
but now you're showing me something else. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that works. You know, so mm-hmm. I can't get, you know, it's, it is what it is. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would have been cool because, like, I would have liked Hayden to have, like, some of the comeback that he's kind of having. Um, I'm like, do that. You know, and th- that for that reason, I've been like, yeah, cool. You know, I'm I'm, I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, when once I like Keanu is going to be it, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm sold. Yeah, like it's it, for me that fits the Shadow character. So I'm just super psyched that we're getting Shadow, and we're only on the third one in. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. From what people saw at CinemaCon, was uh, they got a lot of uh, what's his name. Uh, Robotnik Eggman, um, Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. So, so they say, you know, he's going to come back, which he's ultimately, he's, he's what makes the movie great is, is a yeah. good bad guy. Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. That's, that's, that's the best. That's the best. Mm-hmm. Isn't that true in any movie though? That the, what? The, the villain was what really makes the movie. Cause a good guy will always be good. But yeah. a good villain just makes everything just really work really well. Yeah, yeah, and it, but it needs a fit. Like he's not a like a villainous. Well, yeah, I guess he's villainous, but he's he's goofy. You know what I mean? He, he's a goofball and he's doing stupid shit. And it's Jim Carrey doing the Jim Carrey kind of old school stuff, just in this world that makes sense for what it is. And and I don't. I I just think it's it's so good you know and it's like this movie is gonna have jim carrey keanu reeves idris alba james marston uh um um but you just said his name um ben schwartz Schwartz. ben schwartz oh who's who's uh who's the wife i can't i can't remember um tika sumter yeah i mean that's Mm -hmm. a damn man that's a lot of famous people in in one movie so yeah I i think it's gonna be pretty good I'm super psyched for it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, like, like Brandon said, it's so crazy to see how much uh, where this movie was going to be so bad. So like mm-hmm. everyone was angry, and now it's like people are waiting for the third one already. Like so, and I think uh, December, December of this yeah, year, December number three comes mm-hmm. out. Yeah. Them, so. they, they fixed it, so you know. Things are fixable. Yeah. 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 So it just took the entire in the entire community coming together and mm-hmm. complaining. And one voice oh, and saying they, they, yeah. They, they 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 literally bullied a studio in, into improving the movie. Yeah. Like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Um, and then also I forgot the knuckle the knuckles uh TV show comes out. I believe this month. Yeah, not not this week, but um, not the end of this week, but the end of next week, if I'm not mistaken. Or the middle of next week. Uh, April 26th. Yeah. Yeah. So next next Friday. Yeah. Comes out. Yeah. So that, that's gonna that's gonna be a super fun one. Yeah. And how they got Idris Elba? Like, hey, you're gonna come in and and we're gonna like. How they got him to sign up to do a movie, a TV show, and then another movie. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not talking about is gonna be in it too. It's just Alba is yeah. always working. He works that's true all that's the true. time. <laughs> he's on he's it's because we don't see him. He's on BBC, he's on regular TV, he goes down to Brazil, does a show, he does a voice over act. He does stuff all the time. He's working. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> Very clean. Clean. They paid him. That's how they got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you give, give enough uh, zeros behind it. Uh, all right, let's see what you guys are in chat are saying. Um, it wouldn't happen, but I feel like MCU X Men end up being ninety seven X Men, and would it work? I forgot what we were talking about <laughs> with that one. Uh, mm. or come back to that if I remember. Uh, has ever done video work? Voice or yeah. work. Yeah, yeah, see, definitely. Yeah, dude, yeah. kaboom. Yeah. That was the one Cassie. I'm surprised no one saw coming. I felt dumb. No one saw coming. No one. And I believe John Campia leaked it. Because he, according to him, 
um on today's show he said somebody super up high you know that he believes is telling him the truth um he didn't give a name told him like hey this is what's happening and blah 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 but don't say it until next week which is this week so you know so i think he was the first dude to come out and say it so. keanu reeves was like dude don't tell anyone to next week but I'm going to be in his shadow. <laughs> I'm shadow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Duke of Boom and Toy Story, Cyberpunk at uh, Ted and Bill and Ted. Uh, he was was he was he the voice in the anime series too? He was. And Alex oh, Winter really? still was Bill. Yeah. Oh damn! I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He doesn't do much. Uh, yeah. Duke of Boom was awesome. It was fun. Yeah. It should be fine. Yeah. Uh, I stopped that Toy Story 2. Cyberpunk is a video game I never played and definitely never watched Bill and Ted anime series. You didn't see Toy Story 3? This might be the saddest, most emotional, yeah. evoking movie I've ever seen in my life. When they're holding hands going into the furnace, I lost it. I lost yeah. it. I was sitting there like, my kids were like crying. I'm like right next to them like, that is not crying. We hold each other. Yeah, we hold definitely watch like out. Each other. <laughs> yeah, the two after two, you know, number three and number four are mm-hmm. are number three is amazing though. Number four was was good. It was good. Uh, yeah, two. it's nothing. Three. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 yeah Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk was all right. I mean, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't um nearly as good as it was hyped up to be initially. Yeah. Yeah. They were hyping it to be like this huge, amazing, mind blowing thing. And actually, and I think okay. Idris Alba is in the new Cyberpunk, like in the new uh, DLC and stuff. I think you're right. Yeah. So, so you got both of them in that and now in this. So because once again they paid him, <laughs> so Idris Alba shows up. <laughs> Here's money. Uh, it said, "Does Hayden still get work after Star Wars? Besides a couple B movies uh, with Fifty Cent and Bruce Willis." Thought Star Wars killed his career, kind of. Yeah, he hasn't had a lot um, of work. This is really his renaissance. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Keanu Reeves was in Super Pets too. He sure was. He was Batman. Yep. Bat dog. Oh, yeah. No, Bat Batman. Batman. Yeah. Batman. He was Batman. Batman yeah. 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 Kevin Hart was was Bat dog, or Ace, or whatever his name was. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he has he hasn't been in a lot of things since then. You know, it, it really did kind of mess up his career because he got blamed for a lot of why it sucked, you know. You know, which was, which I which never, was unfair. No. Like, I, it's I never an actor's why. fault. It's yeah. never an actor's fault. And then somehow the actors always get the, the brunt of it. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, he was told to do the job and he did the job. Yeah. You know, if he if he was bad at it, then George Lucas, the director and the writer of those movies should have changed something but so yeah although i did like the one where he jumper i thought jumper, jumper was a yeah. good bad kind of movie but no i think jumper was good awake was good awake was uh, good awake takers, was good takers was good takers. Mm-hmm. so i mean but he, he didn't he was takers till he was like, really Takers was like a couple years after Star Wars. Um, yeah. Takers was a 2010. Yeah. So and then so, I think originally it was supposed to come out like a year or two earlier, but they kept delaying it. Yeah. Um, Jumper was 2008, so I mean, mm-hmm. in Awake was 2007. I remember putting the Awake mm-hmm. the, the, the actual the box while we were working a family video. I remember that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, he was good in Shattered Glass. I thought he was really good in that. Um. I, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, with with the right content, he's he's a solid actor. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was a Lincoln lawyer, but uh, but that was so long ago. Yeah. What was it? Hey, Christensen was in that. I don't remember him being in that, but that was long ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if he was in there. Or not. Unless Matthew McConaughey has some character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a good villain is actually. Why they'll never repeat the crow's magic? <laughs> I don't know, man. People are really hyping up this new one. They got a good look at it at CinemaCon, and they're like, "It looks good." It probably, it looks yeah. Good. Once again, it's gonna be one of those things where you, if you named a different movie, 
and the same concept, it'd probably be higher on people's list if you didn't try to yeah. bring it to the same name. That name is what hurts. So I found out because of all the CinemaCon talk, the this new movie is more closely based off the original comic than than the original movie. So I'm like, okay. So I mean, it makes um, sense. yeah, I knew there was a comic. I never really read it or whatever, but but I was like, okay, you know, I, mm-hmm. I'll take that if that's you know what you want to go for, you know. So, but people are saying that it looks pretty good. It looks really good. So, uh, yeah, Tika Sumter's fine. <laughs> Did you yeah. see the Snoop Dogg movie? Which yeah. one? I've seen Tika Sumter something, and a lot of different stuff. So, yeah, same. Yeah, and yeah, don't forget about the show on Paramount. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Just think you'll be able to look at your boo and ask, would you like to see a movie starring Idris Elba and Keanu Reeves? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Done. I think we could all see the new Keanu Reeves, Idris Elba. Yeah. <laughs> like that? Let's go. Let's go. That's funny. What the hell is this? <laughs> Just looks at you the whole time like I'm over here. Uh, what's up? We got AJ. It was an AJ one AJI. Uh, hi. Uh, and I like Golden Eye, and the dude with the dreads kind of sounds like he could be could have been a a decent replacement actor to Purple Bear, Toy Story three. Uh, that is all. <laughs> 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 what? What's <his> <laughs> what was replacement actor? I got the old man voice with the king. The king. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the the voice actor of that one? That's a good question. I don't, it's kind of slipped. Yeah, it kind of slipped in my mind. So, oh, it says uh, that was lots, right? It says yeah, Ned lots of love. Beattie. Yeah, Ned Beatty. I thought it was something. That was Ned Beatty. Yeah, it sure was Ned Beatty. Yeah, Ned Beatty. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh, that yeah. actually now I'm looking at him. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I know that voice was like familiar. Yeah. Lots of love. Uh, yeah. Was it lots of love or lots of hugs? And... Lots of hugs? Is it lots of. Because it's like cut off. Lots of hugging. There you go. Wow. Um, all right. Uh, no cyberpunk, uh, had wicked glitches. Oh, yeah, a couple of friends oh, uh, yeah. discussed it. It came out on the Sunday show, yeah, yeah. It got better as time gone on, went on, and they had time to fix it in patches, but by then it's too late. So, uh, Takers was awesome. I like Jumper with Sam L, Captain America. Was what's his name in? Yes, I was in that. Hey, Chris Evans was in, in Jumper. I thought he meant uh Yeah, Jumper oh, had, I know uh, what he, I know which movie he's talking about. I know what she's talking about. Uh, oh, what was that? For? It was just just like Jumper. There was a movie that came out. I remember Push. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was like, it was just mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. 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 Mm. Sam, yeah. I don't think Sam Jackson was in that. I know Diamond Hansu and Dakota Fanning were in it. Mm-hmm. Chris Stewart was in it too. He was in uh, Jumper. She was. It was in Jumper, yeah. She was in Jumper, yeah. Yeah, she had, she came out at the end. Very end. Yeah. That was a good one. I was like, Sam Jackson beat the shit out of Vader. <laughs> like, payback. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was Brian like Phil. Ah, there you go. Yeah, lots of. Her and Snoop and Underdogs. That was a funny movie. Oh, uh, oh yeah, the one on Prime. Yeah, I haven't seen the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Yeah, it was Push." Getting yeah, no, confused. Push was good because they're exactly very similar. Yeah, it came around the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how they always do it. They always have like movies mm-hmm. that are all uh, like. Uh, I feel like somebody gets an idea and it gets leaked, and then like other studios try to make it before, and they kind of like slowly start to. To do, uh, what was the the one with the three kids? I think Michael B. Jordan was in that one. 
Right? Chronicle. Yeah, Chronicle. Chronicle. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. That, that movie is so freaking good. It was so mm-hmm. freaking good. I like the graphics, the story in it, and like the whole idea of like one of them just like going mad with the power. Oh man, that was oh, fucking. It was yeah. The movie, the movie was the movie was essentially the craft for people who are into superheroes. <laughs> I never thought about that. That's funny though. Um. Yeah, I liked Chronicle though. Um, too bad the director went on to do um, the 2015 Fantastic Four, which is awful. Oh, oh, why are you talking about that? We we said we would never mention that show, that uh, movie ever again on this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did other stuff. He did uh, he did Capone, Capone, the one with Tom Hardy. Yeah, yeah, that was all right one. It's okay. Put the, you have to put these subtitles on to understand what Tom Hardy is saying in that. Yeah, yeah. I think didn't he? Didn't uh, it was Josh Trank? Yeah. Did he get? Is he gonna do something new? I or think he I is. Doing, yeah. So I am number four. Thing. That's why I was thinking. I was like, "What is this movie called?" I am number, I am number four. four. Yeah. Yeah. All, all came out at the same time. I was like, "What's that?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he was an exceptional actor, though incredible. He was so articulate in telling, excuse me, telling it like it is. I got straight to the point of things really quick as the bear in the movie, but kind of near the end of the movie, he was an asshole. <laughs> Bad baby. Yeah. Come on. He was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even Lotso. Lotso was such a great character. A, a great character. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, Oh man, because like you want to hate him and you want to be mad at him, and then you learn his backstory and like you understand why why he has the hate and the anger. But same thing they did that in uh Toy Story 2 with the prospector. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like or, or Thanos. Or th- <laughs> Thanos. <laughs> Say I mean, any villain, all the villains that they you know, make them sympathetic fi- figures. It's evil. Yeah. It's yeah. evil, Lotso. Evil. Evil. <laughs> there you go. Which Captain America? Captain America's ass or Captain or America's boobs? America's ass or America's boobs? America's ass. Or America's, boobs? America's ass. Right. That is America's ass. <laughs> All right. Uh, We're almost two, two hours in. I done a review time. I know. I know. Yeah, are we doing a review or what? Uh, you want to do Monkey Man or you want to do Civil War first? Monkey Man. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, both of them should be pretty quick. All right. Uh, getting synopsis up. Ready whenever you are. All right. Let's do it. All right, welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is St. Kramer. I'm with Bradman Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we are going to talk and review uh, the movie that's been out for a few weeks now, uh, Monkey Man with Dev Patel, starring, acting, writing. He's he's the man of the hour with that movie. Um, so we're going to get into our reviews, uh, our ratings, uh, what we like, what we dislike. But before we jump into that, Brian's got a quick uh, rundown of what the movie's about. A young man ekes out a meager living in an underground fight club where night after night wearing a gorilla mask, he's beaten bloody by the more popular fighters for cash. After years of suppressed rage, he discovers a way to infiltrate the enclave of city sinister elite. As uh, his childhood trauma boils over, his mysterious scarred hands help him level the field. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not the best synopsis. I feel like there's <laughs> a lot more like, about the the man a lot. Who, who did yeah. more to to in his bad like in, in life you know, in his past, yeah. and he's literally been finding a way, trying to find a way. He didn't care about the fight club. He was fighting, yeah, and trying to get to this this guy who's killed his mama. That's like <laughs> a revenge, a revenge story, you know, <laughs> through and through, you know. So, um, but 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, Fight Club. I was like, what? <laughs> so, um, all right, so we're gonna get into what we liked about it. Uh, Brandman, what you like about this one? It was very to the point. Um, you know, it, it really hit the ground running. I liked the, uh, I, I, I like how like, how like grimy it looked and how grimy the fight scenes were at times. Mm. Um, just a very, uh, like for first time director, Dev Patel did a great job and I never would have pegged him as like a credible action actor, but, but he managed to, um, you know, I, I, I think sometimes even the simplest of plots kind of boil down to execution. Uh, regarding whether or not it works and I think the execution did work you know it pretty much delivered what the trailers were promised uh, had had uh, promised just straightforward revenge um, story and yeah um, that's what I got so it's pretty happy with it in that regard crazy to think that this wasn't even this almost didn't get a theatrical release I think it kind of would have been a shame if it, if it did not because um, it was fun to watch on the theater with it with a crowd of people Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say, you know, the um, the acting wasn't anything Oscar worthy, but it did its job. Like I said, it was a story that we've seen over and over again, just standard revenge story, but but it worked in that regard. I thought it was executed pretty good. Yeah, okay. mm-hmm. that's all I have. All right, what well, are you, Brian? I think what kind of separates it is the is the action scenes overall. Uh, I think they did a major job with the, all the work that they did with everybody else was just, you know, it's so electric. It's like adrenaline rush of fighting. Everyone was just, you know, great hand to hand combats. It wasn't like anyone was pulling their punches. All of that would look authentic. You know, even the blood with the monkey mask and all that stuff. That was great. I thought the story was fine. I didn't hate it. I've heard the story before. I've seen the story before, but it was fine. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, every action sequence was just great. was was well done, real, real, well choreographed. Details were re- done well. You, there weren't any plot holes, so the plot was well thought out. Just, I've heard it. You know, I've seen it. So I said, but I think this is good. This thing was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, same, same with you guys. Like, uh, action, awesome. It was good. Um, the one thing, I, I don't think... I don't think you guys mentioned the the cinematography on it was great. And I heard like it, it got to a point where I think their camera broke or something. And Dev Patel was like, part of this was filmed on his like iPhone, (laughs) which is like kind of crazy, you know? And um, yeah, I thought the cinematography was, was what pulled, pulled me in with it was like the way it was shot was really, really good, you know, because it really, um, you know, showcase the the action in a way where you f- felt you were like in there, man. You know, like that bathroom scene, you know, where they're fighting is like, man, like that's that was a great fight scene. So, um, but yeah, but you know, it was it was a great uh, first, you know, uh, director uh, debut for Dev mm-hmm. Patel. Um, you know, he knocked it out of the park, you know, and as also starring in it. So that's never too easy to do. So, so yeah. he wrote the uh, screenplay, right? Yeah. He's yeah. a producer. He he, he kind of helped write the movie. He directed it and acted in it. The lead actor. That, that's. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing he didn't do was like write the music. <laughs> exactly. You know, so. Yeah, it was, it was really good. But I mean, uh, like Brandman said, like uh, it took Jordan Peele's, uh, I think, studio to help push it out to to the theaters. Because, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was it was a fun action movie that was like pretty good and, and it looked gorgeous. I thought at times too. Um, all right, what did you not like about it? Is there anything you didn't like about it, Brandon? Um, there were a couple. Of- instances of shaky cam which i really don't like i in an action movie when you said it, you like the way it was shot and i knew he was gonna say shaky cam i knew it <laughs> i think shaky cam is just like one of the worst things to happen to cinema um <laughs> especially when it comes to action movies i, I blame freaking paul greengrass for who did like the last several um like 
foreign identity movies with with Matt Damon for for making a, that a thing. Um, I think um, some of the fight scenes were also filmed up like kind of film like kind of super close, and you know I kind of like to see what's going on when it comes to a fight scene. Um, I uh, there were, there were definitely some standard tropes when it came to a revenge story. Like I said, it, it's kind of to be expected. I think uh, Dev Patel kind of put kind of put that um, secondary to you know like the action sequences and that sort of thing. But I'd say those were those were my th those were my um, main things with it. Um, I have kind of like a short list of of things that didn't work for me. But at the at the same time, it was a standard. It was a, it was a standard uh, revenge movie, and you know a lot of things come with that good and bad. So, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you, Brian? What didn't you like about it? I don't know if I don't like. I would have liked to see more cultural things. Mm -hmm. It being taking place in India, like we saw some, but it was very superficial. I would have liked a little bit more of that. Um, even if it, it didn't have to do with the story, but just seeing how the culture, of, you know, the the change in, you know, it's. Poor and the rich there are, are it's, a, it's a huge cabinet. Like it's huge difference between each one and how it works there. And that's why you know he's able to kind of fit in. You don't see him. He's he's almost you know invisible. That's how you like able to do a lot of in. Yeah. exactly. It's because you're just they don't look at you that way. You're just whatever. We're not looking at you that, way. and that's you know kind of how he's able to blend in. Uh, I also don't like the fact that really you call it a monkey man, but the only thing that happens is he gets beat in the face when he has the monkey mask on, and then he bleaches. He spends all this time bleaching this monkey mask white, and then he gets to the end scene where he's about to go in and, and kill, kill, do all final ball, final ball stuff, and he puts the mask down. Why did you bleach it if you did and do all that work if you're gonna put the mask down at the end? I don't understand. Like <laughs> we actually had him time of uh, filming. Seeing him do this, the mask and all that stuff, maybe it's because it's on a ten million dollar budget, and he tore the mask, and he realized I can't use this anymore, so, so he just put it down. <laughs> so it's obvious that we seen him put it down, <laughs> but he didn't use it at all. I thought it was like he's gonna change his, try to hide his identity to the, uh, so he got up mm -hmm. higher, but literally didn't do that at all. They knew exactly who he was because he worked there. It was just like a postman returning to work and come kick everyone's butt. I, I I didn't understand that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But I did. I think that those are small things. I don't mind shaky cam in the right instance. If you're giving me a point of view, PO point point of view from the first person's point of view, that's okay. As long as you do it, throwing it in with other viewpoints. You know, I don't think it's good to just have that as your number one view. But as long as you're doing it, throwing it in with other other type of scenes, other other things, I'm okay with that. Especially in and I don't care about the rest of the scene of them betting on that stuff because I got enough of that because you saw from the crowd. I didn't need to see that again. I already knew what was going on, so now I just want to focus on the fight part. Uh, usually, I, I leave the comments a little bit towards the end, but this one was That's was hilarious. too good. He decided <laughs> against the mess because he wasn't monkeying around. <laughs> <laughs> he was done monkeying around. Oh, uh, Mama Bear, that was a good one. Um, yeah, with some some of my my dislikes, uh, it it was just for me like I wanted to see more cultural kind of stuff. You know, I wanted to see mm -hmm. the in and outs of like this 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 city that they live in and 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 the country that they're in and stuff like that. And it just seemed like oh, cool, it's an india mob you know it was like mm -hmm. you know like i just felt like i seen that before um you know and, and same thing a revenge story like brand man said i've seen it before you know um I, I wanted more of like that uh that lore of the monkey man and stuff like that um i thought in the beginning it was a little bit slow and then these these weird flashbacks just like glimpse and glimpse and glimpse and i'm like okay i know you're trying to tell me a story in flashbacks but you're not giving me a solid one until they did it then they told you the whole backstory in his 
drug infused like you know you know state that he oh, was in or whatever yeah whatever. um but yeah the hallucination you know stuff so but i was like but you already started giving me the parts you know and then then you just brought all those parts together you know like i don't know it just felt like I I don't know. It it just it felt like it was just like jammed in there, like all oh, action, action, action story. Oh, a quick glimpse of like the the past, you know. And, and uh, I don't know. It just felt too jarring. That's it. I think that's what it was for me, you know. And you know, I mean, it didn't ruin the movie, but it was just like, yeah, I think you could have done it better. Um, but yeah, the, you know, the acting was okay. You know, it was nothing great from everyone else. I thought De- Dev Patel was. As I say, I thought he, he did was the best job. out of out of all. Yeah. Of, you know, some of the other ones were just kind of like okay, you know. But yeah, I don't have too many dislikes besides like just it's a, a generic ish story that we've seen a bunch of times, you know. And the flashback stuff I just had some issues with, but well, that's about it. Um, anything good or bad that we you forgot about? You want to bring up before we move into our ratings? Um, the transgender community, I thought that was really interesting that they, that was part of the story because mm-hmm. apparently that is something that's really, that, that takes place in India a lot. That that's, you know, almost once again, you know, like I said, the poor people almost are invisible. The other group of people mm-hmm. that they almost keep totally invisible. As long as you're not in our way, we're not going to even deal with you. Um, Mm-hmm. And given that power and, and, and understanding who you are and being, being okay with who you are and realizing that, you know, them having him giving that money to them, them allowing the, you know, them to be able to stay and have somewhere that they can call their own, especially in a place mm-hmm. where they, no one accepts them. That, that was pretty cool. Now, I, I don't yeah. know if it was necessary in the story, but I thought that it was very cool that he pushed it in the story and then seeing it really brought the movie together, kind of, you know, to me. So I, yeah. I I do want to give him props for that. Yeah, yeah. Then they became like his little army at the yeah. end, you know, little badass mm-hmm. warriors was like, you know, they like they were they were they were badass. I give that. Yeah, they know. were. Yeah, that, that was cool. That was cool. You know, they had seeing them coming in the in the room all together, and they got the crazy mask on and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, that that, that was badass. But um, then that's why you should have more cultural stuff because that would explain yeah. it even more. Yeah. Yeah, it's more of it. Uh, and then we'll get into our ratings real quick. Uh, Kenny's in the house. What's up, Kenny? Kenny Spark? What's up, Kenny? All right. Uh, let's do our ratings real quick. Let's bring this up. All right, here we go. All right. So here at Spoiler Kings, we keep things nice and easy. Uh, our rating system is now later, never. Now means you got to go run to the theater and watch it before it gets spoiled. Later means you can wait till it's at home and watch it at home. And never means just skip it altogether. Uh, Brand Man, what you give a Monkey Man? I could probably give this a now. I thought it was a fun watch in the theater. Um, like I said, I I didn't really hear anything about this movie until like three months back when the first trailer came out. Um, I, I I thought it was really really fun to watch in the theater. I thought if you're if you're looking for a straightforward action one a movie, I think it really delivers. Um, it was really easy to get into. Like I said, really my only problems were with it were um, like the shaky cam and some of like the close-ups with the fight scenes. And, you know, it went like overly generic at times, but, but overall I had an, it was, it was an entertaining watch for me. So I could, I could give it a now. Okay. What are you, Brian? Um, going into the movie, I thought is definitely gonna be a later movie for me. After watching the movie, it's more of a now movie, but it does have its problems, does have its faults. It's not a perfect movie by any means, but it definitely was worth seeing in theater. I'm going to go now, definitely, because even the thought that this would wouldn't have been on streaming service is nuts. This movie is a theater movie. It, it's one of my, I'm going to guess this is probably a top 10 movie for me this year. So yeah, that says enough for me. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, for me, I'm going to give it a now. I, I, when, it, when it first started, I'm like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes in. I was like, man, I don't get what the big deal is about this movie. Um, but then once once everything started picking up, I'm like, okay. You know, and I, I wind up appreciating it. Um, so, yeah, and I got to give it a now just because uh, on the big screen, it's, it's, worth, it's worth seeing. You know, a nice action film. You know, a really good action film is worth seeing on on the big screen. And and if you had any problems with it, one thing you didn't have a problem was the action because it was it was pretty pretty action packed. Um, and then real quick with our in chat, uh, we got Brandon Davis uh, said he's gonna give it a now. Uh, Kenny Sparks also giving it a now as well, and also go check out Kenny Sparks' channel um, where he does his review for this movie. So cool. Oh, I forgot to bring up uh, Ron Tomatoes real quick. Mm-hmm. You want to bring up the numbers of the box office? Yeah, I already had that up, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to have too many uh, things open on my computer still until yep. I change out my, my hard drive. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it's been... Oh shit! Okay, um, so I'm Ron Tomatoes. This is Can actually guess? pretty. Let's guess. Yeah, go go, go for it. What you guys got? Oh, you got Brandon. Ron Tomatoes. Ron Tomatoes. Critics. Critics and um, critics probably like a seventy-five. Okay, I'm higher. I'm higher. Mm-hmm. I think the critics, the way it was done, especially critics, are going to give. Respect to starring, directing, writing, producing. I won't say the critics give it a 90. Mm. Now that you're saying that, like, it is kind of a, an artsy action film. You know, like, exactly. that's what it kind of feels like. It's like a, it's an action film, but it is, like, Dev Patel definitely has, like, an artsy side to him with some of his other movies that he's done. Um, but it's definitely, like, an artsy action film. Um, so the critics gave it an 88. That's that's <laughs> super high. All right, that's, that's, that's yeah. okay. super high. I thought it was gonna be more like 75, 80, you know, for the critics, but 88 from the critics is crazy. Um, the audience, um, you guys want to guess with that too? Uh, I'm gonna go audience 80. Okay, yeah, I'd say around the same 80, yeah, 83, maybe, uh, 84 with the audience. Mm-hmm. So one well, no, off, yeah, pretty, yeah, yeah, pretty close. Like just audience and critics. So you know, everyone's everyone's definitely digging it. This film is so, banana. Man. <laughs> oh man, that's too. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah. So doing doing well with the critics and audience. How did it do uh, money wise though? So domestically, it made seventeen point seven million dollars. And another five million internationally for twenty two, almost twenty three million dollars, with a budget of only ten point five million dollars. So it made all of his money, pretty much all his money back. And Double. yeah, and it, we're only talking about it's only been out since April fifth. This is ten days. In ten days, it's made all his money. And if he makes, let's say this movie starts at, stops at thirty three million dollars, Dev Patel is going to have someone backing him on any movie he does from now on. Mm-hmm. If you a triple. Their money that you cost to make the movie, done. Yeah, and you got to figure this movie also didn't it, didn't get that much uh, marketing. Like no. I saw one trailer, and I just saw that one trailer played a few times, and that was it. So, yeah, you know, du- doubling your budget, you know, more than double. Like you said if you can if you could do thirty thirty three on on a movie that's only ten million. And like had no marketing, so it's all just word of mouth. You know, that that's definitely a win. Definitely, yeah, yeah. So, but um, we're gonna get into the comments real quick. But before we do, uh, anybody watching on the replay, thank you guys. Appreciate you guys coming and checking out the replay. Uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think about uh, Monkey Man. Was your favorite part about it? Do you like uh, any any action scenes uh, more than the others? Um, but Appreciate all that. Uh, if you're watching live, we are going to get into the comments for this one. You know, what I would have liked 
What's that? I would have liked if the monkey man, instead of getting his butt whooped in the, in the that little underground fight club, that he was kicking out everyone else's butt and he had this cult following. And that kind of gave him his, his 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 confidence that he could go ahead and go against the syndicate. Like I would rather mm-hmm. him, you know, get this following because of what he's doing. Like he's literally fighting and beating all these people up. And everyone's like, yeah, we're, we're behind you. And then he goes and does that. Yeah. Because that would that give him cool. more of an importance. Like, you had the yeah. story, but you didn't do nothing but get your ass whooped when you had the monkey mask. They, like, support him. There's, like, like he's, like, almost a hero to the yeah. to the normal to the normal people. Yeah. That's what I thought well, what we were going to get, and, and we didn't get it. Because it was just him doing his own story. He didn't. Because from the trailer, it made it seem like he was going to represent the poor people, the people mm-hmm. in the in, in the streets. You know, he was going to come in and uh, Robin Hood it all. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. but yeah, it, it wasn't any of that. No, yeah. well, yeah. that 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 could have made it better. I think so too. Because um, then you can yeah. add look that cultural angle more. You will see more about India. Yeah. 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 Uh, some of the comments real quick. Uh, Monkey Man had a lot of flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, that was the issue did. I had. It was like definitely yeah. did. Yeah, and they were very jarring. There was like quick boom, boom, like flashes almost, where it was just kind of just thrown in there. Uh, it was a basic revenge plot. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is it. Yeah, it's not fighting. It's revenge. Uh, gorilla suits. <laughs> I. Th- I thought for a second you were like, it's not fighting. It's guerrilla warfare. <laughs> That's right. Like, that would have been uh, great. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, that bathroom fight scene where they all the fight scene all they until they until he fall, um, fell in the river was dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That fight scene was super cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although is it just me or is he keep getting distracted at at the at the worst pop- possible minutes? At the worst, yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro, mm-hmm. a- ADHD man, because he had a gun pointed to the face, and then he heard something. He's like, "What's that?" And he gets fucked up because of it. And at the very end of the movie, you know, like like again, he's like, "What's that over there?" And then he gets stabbed. I'm like, stupid. They're like squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would have never th- uh, thought from winning a million dollar <laughs> to running a hotel that he would have done something like this. I definitely will watch <laughs> it again. Was he million dollar baby, right? Not million, no. baby, uh, million dollar baby. Slumdog Willard millionaire, right? Slumdog millionaire. Slumdog millionaire. Yeah. 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 Million dollar baby is something else. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. That sounds like a. Uh, Damon Dash. Damon Dash. <laughs> uh, I didn't like all those damn flashbacks. I'm right there with you, man. Uh, that new cage movie, Arcane, is shaky cam. I hate it. Oh, uh, oh, really? I like. I get what you're saying, Bramman, with shaky cam. I don't like it either. But if it's done right, and if it's not overdone either, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? it you needs know, that, to be cool. a garnish to a movie. You know, like yeah, it's. Something you're adding point of view, giving it, but you're still able to have different angles. So you're going in and out from seeing what's like. You understand how the fight is going on. Yeah. But after that, you need to get out of it. Yeah. Like Cloverfield for me, the fir- the first Cloverfield. I I still uh, because it, it's all shaky cam. The it's whole movie cam, is like, yeah. oh my god, you see that? I'm like, no, I can't, I can't because <laughs> you don't know how to stay still. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's annoying. Uh, Shaking him has been a thing since Blair Witch, yeah. yeah. But that, like that, that it also does it the whole movie. But also, I think it's Meg because it's supposed to be like a home. Yeah, film. like the I I, I kind of let it slide with it when it came to like the found footage type movies. Yeah. Um. Yeah, when it comes to something like this or like the Born movies, uh, there there's certain things like. You you want to see what's going on, yeah. Um, even in found footage movies, even though you kind of want to see what's going on, to um, you understand why you don't see what's going on because it's a found footage movie. But um, 
Yeah, it, 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 at least they didn't do like too too much of it this time, um, which which um, was was one of the upsides for it. You know, when you can't make out anything that's going on, that's when I really get irritated. So I'd say, even though I don't like shaky cam, they used it like just the right amount in this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a fine line. Like they use it too much in in the ultimate or ultimate the ultimatum stuff, like you said. Mm-hmm. Way too yeah. Much. yeah. And that director uh, Paul Greengrass, like Shaky Cam is one of his trademarks. Like he did it in Green Zone, and you know, um, or uh, like just about everything that he that he's made. Fun fun fact: he almost he at one point he was going to direct the Watchmen movie, which would have really just irritated me. <laughs> God, can you imagine shaky cam with that? <laughs> yeah, um, I don't want to. <laughs> that that shouldn't be a thing. You know what I mean? Like, like, oh, like, oh, my thing is like, uh, I, I have this kind of style. You know, like, but you're like, oh, what's my thing? Oh, God, shaky cam. Like, that's not. No, but what is this first not person point. point of view? That's what it is. It's first person point of view. Trying to pretend like the person watching the movie is actually going through all of it, and. In certain fight scenes, I think that works. Yeah. But like as soon as the fight scene's on over, you need to be done. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes you want to have cut to what the whole you know, say it's in the ring. You want to see the whole ring sometimes. Sometimes you want to understand yeah. how the footwork. Some of that stuff matters too. Sometimes it's not always just about what you're doing. It's about everything, the whole whole scene. Oh, I thought it was just mm-hmm. done fine this in this movie. I, I didn't see that was a problem here, but a lot of times I can't have a problem with what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, said it was shot well. It was a story about uh, rising from the gutter to overthrow your oppressor. Yeah. And being a hero for the oppressed people. See, but was he, though? Was he, like, really a hero for the oppressed people? Yeah, for the, the transgender. I just, you're saying. I just yeah. thought it was about a dude who just, who just won a revenge against the son of a bitch who killed his mom. <laughs> Yeah. No, but the whole I mean, idea of going to the transgender and yeah. So mm-hmm. he learned learned them. They kind of helped him see himself. They helped him find the stuff inside him. Fight with rhythm. Because that's what you know you don't know. Yes, mm-hmm. you don't know how to do that, I guess. You can't fight with rhythm because he's on a one one and four instead of one and three. Whatever. Yeah. That's how you what he learned to do. He learned to fight with rhythm. But uh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think that was a big part of the movie, the transgender community. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was this whole Rocky montage was was because of them. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, Kenny said the same thing. The trans folks in uh, Monkey Man were dope. Yeah, they were they were awesome. Uh, so honestly, I, I felt like a little like uh, I was watching John Wick. A little bit. A little bit. It had, it had similar vibes. You know, for sure. Um, no, I mean, yeah, I think I agree with Kenny with that. Yeah, he was, I really didn't see it uh, as a John Wick clone at all. I thought it was a great, but uh, the shaky cam did piss me off. <laughs> uh, you know, it wasn't enough to take me uh, away from my enjoyment of it, though. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a clone. It was just an action film, and I think, like, a lot of action films are are that style now of John Wick. Anytime you, know, you have an action film hand-to-hand. with hand-to-hand combat, that's just yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of style now. But yeah, it wasn't a clone because J- John Wick would get his ass kicked, but he also got his ass kicked because he's fighting for like 30 minutes straight. <laughs> you know, he's I mean? also like, fighting 1,500 people, like all everybody. like trained assassins. And yeah, <laughs> like the, at one point, the entire world so it was after him. So this guy was like more of a regular dude, you know, so. Yeah. Right, let's try to knock this out because I, I would like to get to yeah. over four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying yeah. to go through. Tony said, Banana Spit would be the sequel. <laughs> uh, yeah, John with full package. Monkey is not that, which is great. Yeah, it's not the full package. Uh, first, wow, what the heck? Sorry. Uh, first rule of Gorilla Fight Club is you don't talk about Gorilla Fight Club. Well, the first rule is you uh, dip your mask in bleach. But that's actually and the last away. 
That's the last rule. It's the last rule because you do dip it in bleach and then you throw it away. Because oh man, why did I bleach this? <laughs> yeah, that smells like bleach. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Kyle? What's up, Kyle? Man? What's with... up? Yeah. What you say? What's going uh, on? But he did start to get a following when when he beat the last dude in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he beat two dudes. He like one punched one dude or one kicked one yeah. dude, and then beat the crap out of the big dude. So yeah, that was that was a good fight scene. But yeah, yeah. Of, of course, Brandon said the bathroom scene in MI six was was better. He said the bathroom <laughs> scene when Tom Cruise is just peeing in any of the movies is probably better than this. We said, you know, <laughs> huh, see how he he shook twice. I loved it. <laughs> oh man. All right. Yeah, I want to get into the Civil War kind of stuff. <laughs> of course it's not. Of course. All. You never go full eight. That's great. Uh, all right. Let's talk Civil War. All right, what is up? Welcome to the Spoiler Kings. My name is Tink Kramer. I'm with Brandman Brandon, Brian the Grizzly, and we are going to review and discuss the new Alex Garland movie, Civil War. Uh, came out this weekend. Everyone's talking. Everyone is talking about it. Um, so we're going to get into our ratings at the end. We're going to get to our likes, our dislikes, full discussion, everything like that. Uh, so if you're live and in the comments, let us know what you think about this movie. Um, but before we jump into it, Brian's got a breakdown of what this one is about all right and then that, this uh the sopian uh future america um a team of military embedded journalists race against time to reach washington dc before rebel factions descend upon the white house that's very yeah. small part about what that is but it, it's this movie is really really so many layers as it, it took yeah. me time to really get through what really happened because I was I was messaging you guys like I don't know what the hell's happening and then the more I time I stuck back you know I, I realized okay this is what's going on because I didn't know who was the good guy who was the bad guy but then I also read that that was kind of the point yeah yeah I yeah I got that a lot through it so I guess yeah I mean yeah, we'll get into like the messages that this movie kind of gets into a little bit. Um, but we'll start off with uh with our likes. What did you like about it, Brand Man? Um, well, I know I said something similar about Monkey Man, but I also like how this one really jumped right into it and hit the ground running. Um I thought the pacing was pretty good. I thought like the acting wise, I thought the acting felt like really, really natural. Particularly from um from Kirsten Dunst and the actor who played her partner, I thought they were probably like the MVPs of the movie. Joel, uh, I, wagon uh, or... yeah, yeah, him. Um, I um even the way it even the way it just kind of ended, um, I, I I really liked. It was to the point. Um, I really like endings that that just don't waste any time on like any more um like exposition or like some epilogue to make the audience feel better it kind of reminded me of um of american werewolf in london where it just ends <laughs> um i liked that um i like how tense it was i liked that the music like it, it used like a minimal amount of music uh, i think that really kind of helped with the tension um it was really easy to get engaged and just kind of follow the movie. Um, so yeah, that those were I, I'd say those were my likes with it. Okay. Um, I, I I like the 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 gritty realism, as cliche as that may sound, I, but I liked I liked that about it. Yeah, yeah, very very the realism in some parts were a little too much too much too real uh, for good or bad. Um, what about you, Brian? What you like about it? Um, I think it came out the right time. Mm, yeah, you know, election year, the way uh, America has been doing things, the, the, the stuff that happened happened in Washington, with you know, uh, 
Capitol building and all that stuff. All you see where it could be heading. You see how things couldn't get out out of hand. So I thought that that was good. The timing of it is was really good. Um, I the story I thought was could have been great. They would explain more, you know. But now that I have a, a deeper understanding, I understand what's actually happening. I thought that was that was pretty good. But the acting was, I think, superb by all of them. You know, even Kaylee Spaney, a lot of times annoyed the hell out of me. I still think her acting as far was good because that was what, what they're looking for. Um, but whatever, what's his name? Sammy, the guy who plays Sammy. Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. that was so good. Just they had type things that really touched you. So emotionally, it touched you, and then the idea to be being able to film or and, to, and be not part of the story when something that drastic is happening, like we saw the guys being hanging um, oh, at a gas man. station like yeah. that it was nuts people are nuts and to be able to not say that and still take the picture and be able to focus on just that part of the job oh I don't know if I will ever be able to sleep again you know oh and then oh mm-hmm. if I'm talking about likes the the the, the two minutes you get with Jesse Plemons was earth oh. shattering shattering <laughs> Un- yeah. Believable, just creepy, and I mean, he did amazing job, amazing. Like I don't mm-hmm. think he, they said someone else was supposed to do it, and they had to back out. And she, Kirsten Dunst, called called him because yeah. he was he was in town with, with with the kids in Atlanta, and they came out, and he he just did it in two days. Yeah, and that is has to be the the one scene that sticks with you. It was in the trailer. But seeing the scene with all the bodies and everything, yeah, just yeah. it really sticks with you, um, man. And then the ending, I actually didn't love the in, the part of the ending, but the, the actual ending I thought was great. You know, mm. seeing yeah. it and done and then cutting that was great. I still I didn't like the whole idea with Lee. What happened with Lee? So, but yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. um, okay, um. And I thought it was acted well. Uh, same thing for for me. I I thought the best part of it was there was no good guys. There was no bad guys. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. you start like it's also kind of a hate thing. But you you do start off and it's already going off. You're already in the middle of this war of this civil war, and. And you don't know who the good guys are. You don't know who the bad guys are. You don't know what side you really belong on. You know, I mean, like whatever your political I- ideology is, you don't know fully what side to be on. And that's the whole point of the movie is like, it doesn't matter what side you're on. It's it's just showing no matter what side you're on, it's going to be bad. You know, I mean, like, like, there are no good guys or bad guys. There's just people that get to live and survive and then dead people, you know? And I think that's what it was kind of like trying to, to show, you know, was like, here, here, here's what this would look like. You know what I mean? And it's not like my side wins. Yay. Or, you know, whatever. It's like, no, there's a lot of dead people, you know? And a lot of people do messed up shit because, Oh, you're not that kind of American. Well, I'm going to burn you alive, you know, or hang mm-hmm. you. You know, like, oh, we, we went to school together, but I don't like what you said that one time, you know, and which is like crazy when he's like, oh, yeah, we were we because I think that's what he said. He's like, oh, we were, went to school together. I was like, that's wild. That's wild. Now he's hanging in your backyard, you know, it's, yep. you know, so that's why I was like with that. And, you know, like none of the characters I really cared for, but I feel like I never really were to care for them. They were just kind of going through because like they, they, they were like journalists because like journalists you you never really supposed to see them because they're the, the one telling the story so it's kind of like it was an interesting like way to to tell the story was like we're gonna do journalists but also like show it as a journalist in a sense so it's like we're not the story we're gonna show you the story but they're also your like your main character so i don't know i thought that was kind of like a really interesting way to do it you know and then the ending I thought it looked cool. Like the actual fight war parts and stuff like that were like crazy, but 
you know, mm-hmm. when people obviously die in this movie, when people die, it kind of it sucks. You know, for me, I was like, damn. You know, I wasn't heartbroken, but at the same time, it was like you're still invested. In the character. You, yeah, you're hoping to get to the end en- en- enough where I was like, shit, that sucks. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it for my likes without repeating too much what you guys already said. Um, mm-hmm. what about your dislikes? What didn't you like about this one, Brandon? The Kaylee Spaney character because she got everyone killed. <laughs> Literally, she's responsible for everybody that died. It's all her fault. Well, was it her fault why uh, Sammy died? Yeah, get yes, your ass up and get in the damn car. No, you're the taking Sammy thirty minutes. Will save her if she didn't jump to the da- other damn car. What are you but doing? The, yeah. the, the other, other dude, was it? Well, didn't Tony kind of push her to do it? No, she said, "I want to go to the other car, guys. I want to go do it." Well, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Like, clearly, if you set your ass down, only one person would have been dead. And then she took 30 minutes getting into the damn car. Get up and move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that was one thing was, how old was she supposed to be? 23 or uh, something like that, 22, 23. Which, which was weird because in, in certain angle, from certain angles, she looked like she was about 12. Yeah, um, like I'm like, is she like 16? Like, I legit I thought, thought I'm like, she's she like 16? I thought she was 16, 17, so I always thought, mm-hmm. yeah. But, but she said she okay. was in college, she did all this stuff, she was out of college, so she was okay. fresh out of uh, college, okay. and that's why she knew who these photographers were and everything. So she was fresh out, you know, fresh yeah. off the boat or whatever mm-hmm. you want to say, like, brown school, yeah, you mm-hmm. know, you know, so that makes that makes sense, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, okay, Sorry. and um. Uh, 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 sorry, they could have been a little clearer about like the the uh, conflict and the war itself. Like what, like you were, like you guys were just saying, like who's um who's against who? Who are we supposed to be siding with? I know that um Alex Garland kind of put that a lot more secondary because that's just the kind of writer and director he is. Um, where he he kind of like. You know, like certain things he kind of put secondary. Like he did kind of similar with uh, Ex Machina, which he wrote and directed, and um, Dread, which he wrote. Um, like he just kind of um, put certain things kind of secondary. But uh, it, it would it would have been nice to, to have a little more clarity in that regard in this case. Um, I'd say those. That was mostly it. Um. Yeah, I, I, I'd say those were like my main things that that immediately come to mind. Yeah. Um. Dare I say the movie? Um. Even though it wasn't that long, um, and I think it was a pretty good length, considering the um, like the the plot that they went with, it could have been a little shorter. It's an hour and forty five minutes. It's it's an hour and forty five minutes. Yeah. It's like <laughs> if if they cut out like. It could have been at least like 10, 15 minutes shorter, and I would have been fine with it. I think it'd be but, too um, short. No one's going to pay for the movie if it's under 90 minutes. If it's, like... it's under 90 minutes, I don't think you pay for the movie. Not, not a drama movie like that. You'll do it for mm-hmm. a scary movie, but you wouldn't do it for a drama like what we were getting mm-hmm. there. I think it should have been yeah. longer. I think they should have cut. I agree with him cutting out some of the stuff in the middle. I think mm-hmm. it should have been longer explaining what's going on, what caused the Civil War. Because mm-hmm. like little little thing like I had to get the the commentary of, of you know the director to understand that okay the U- United States president was be tyrannical he was a tyrant yeah. mm-hmm. that's what caused California and Texas to su- once succeed the Western forces those are two opposing political people like you know far left far right but they come together because he's being tyrannical. And then yeah. eventually Florida. So Florida, Texas, California coming together to to do that. So understanding that I thought actually brought more depth to the movie, to the movie. Um, but it should have been explained in the movie. You could have even did it just in this one of those words on the on the screen. You didn't even have to say nothing. The movie could be the yeah. exact same. Just giving me the mm-hmm. words to so understand what the hell's going on. Because I, I literally text you guys like, I'm still not sure what whose side was what. You know, like and they were all wearing fatigues, and I don't know what who the Western for, uh, the forces are really, and why why are the Secret Service still fighting for the president? And you know, and 
are you a real American? I didn't understand any of it because I didn't know what side was what. But I understood <laughs> Alex Gardner, Gardner was like, that's not as important as it is the fact that we're, you know, no one's right. No one's t- uh, completely right. But then it was framed like the Western forces were the good people, the good guys. So I I, I still I was confused about that. Um, I I think I agree with Kaylee Spaney being a little annoying because uh, she just stopped being a baby. But right out of school, I know getting into my industry or doing any of the stuff that I did, even like going to you know, you know, in, in being an engineer or doing the business, mm-hmm. you don't know what you don't know because school is so different than what the real world is. So I understand mm-hmm. that you have to have time to adjust. But then, even after she had all those near death experiences, she still caused everyone else to die because she was out there just doing whatever the hell she wanted to do, like she was invincible. That pissed mm-hmm. me off too. You know, people. Even at the end, you still call someone else to die because you're out there thinking your camera's a gun, like you you got invisible a visibility cloak or something. I just didn't I didn't like that part, uh, mm-hmm. and I would have loved to have a little bit more Nick Offerman. Yeah, Being, a lot you know, more Nick Offerman. If you have Nick Offerman and he's a be ty- this tyrant. No, Nick Offerman being a tyrant, like do it. He is an amazing actor. I think you should have done more with him. That's yeah. those are my hate. My only parts I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, real quick before I go on mine, uh Cleves is in the house. Cleaves. What's up, Cleves? Cleves. Um we're gonna get to that. Uh then I saw uh I saw uh Brandon bring this up. He goes, honestly, without fear mongering, it was just a road trip movie. I mean I mean, I, yeah, in a sense, but also it was like the road the trip is like part of it was yeah. was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it was. I mean, it's a road trip throughout America, seeing like death everywhere, you know. So you except know, for that one town, shot up. that yeah. was still just like, like nothing. It was, hey, yeah, and you look at the rooftops, yeah. you see them, <laughs> but uh, in eighties and stuff, like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I, I I agree. So I agree with what he <clears throat> says. Like, you should never have to go outside of the movie to get context of the movie. Exactly, you know. And I was like, when the director in an interview after the movie's out gives context, and you're like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. I wish they would have said that in the movie somehow. Then that's a problem with the movie right off the bat. You know what I mean? So, you know, and. But it could have been solved so easily. It's easily. Easily could have been solved. And I think the problem is also, it's like, if I feel like this movie, they won you, or you needed to see the trailer before seeing the movie. Because like it's almost like the trailer was part of the movie. Because I'm like, did I get more Nick Offerman in the trailer than I did in the movie? <laughs> you know, it's like... I'm saying... Yeah, you know, but I'm like, you probably got all of Nick Offerman in in the trailer than in the movie. You know, I was like, you know, and it was just like, what's fully going on? And then when you they explain like the the you know the tyrant kind of thing and this and that, I'm like, okay, that adds context of of things. You know what I mean? So, you know, because it's also like, well, these guys think he was being a tyrant, but was he actually being a tyrant? You know what I mean? Because then that that just still brings up more, you know questions so i don't know i it, i thought that was kind of weird i wanted to know more about the war itself rather than just the consequences of the war which i get that's the message he was trying to, to tell you it was just like this is this is the stuff that comes with the civil war you know so mm-hmm. you know like I, I i'm okay with it to a certain extent but also it just felt almost uh like it was just something was missing like a big chunk of it was just missing you know, because it was, you know, so, you know, it's like, uh, you're, you're coming in at the end of a fight and you're just like, wait, what's going on? You know, why are these guys fighting? You know, so, um, kind of like when we always say a, a good villain makes a movie, but if you don't know who the villain is, you don't know if it's making a movie or not for you. You really don't know what's what. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's kind of, kind of right. You know, I mean, like, 
because you well, you want to hate Jesse Plemons, and I don't even remember what side mm-hmm. he was on. Like I now that I'm thinking know. about it, I still don't know. I'm I'm like, trying because I know a lot of them had the patches on their shoulder, you know, and I'm trying to remember. I'm like I don't even remember what side he was on. So yeah, you know, it's just. I don't know. I don't know. War movies are always interesting, but the way this went about was 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 very different. Very different. So, um, anything else, good or bad, that you guys might have forgot before we move on to our ratings? One thing. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> one thing that was said uh, when they were going through like that place that had the Christmas decorations up. Yeah, and um. They're shooting back and forth from the house and, and to and the uh, people that are unco- they're covered. And mm-hmm. he said, uh, who, what side of the, the people they're shooting are, are they on? Oh, yeah. And he said, uh, you, you must be stupid or something. What's going on? Obviously, they're shooting at us. I'm going to shoot to try to kill him. They had no yeah. idea if they're on the same side, diff- you know, different sides or what. They're just shooting because someone shot at them. They're shooting at the, at the other person. Yeah, that was the problem. That was the issue. That I think that was the the heart of the movie. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I don't. I, really I feel like they should have made a bigger. Yeah. yeah, they should they should have made a bigger deal about that. You know, it's like the side doesn't matter because it's all bad. You know, what I mean, like you know, because even like Amer- the American dollar lost its value. You know, when he's Ooh. like, oh, we have $300. And I was like, I don't give a shit. Get out of here. They're like, they're Canadian. Canadian. Like, All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think they should. Like, I think he was trying to tell the message. But he just, it wasn't coming across. Like, the way he wanted it to come across. You know, because then now you got people asking other questions about, like, what about the war? What about the war? And he's trying to say, it's not about the war. But you didn't give us a deep enough message about the consequences of the war. You know, you just showed us very graphic things on screen a lot. But I just like you just didn't drive that nail in, you know, with that, with that. So I think Which I is would crazy. Have liked especially... Yeah. Huh. I think yeah. I would have liked it better if you would have said these people are on this side, these are people are on the, uh, the other side, and you show both sides doing crappy things no matter what. So then yeah. you understand that it really doesn't matter what side you're on or what side you're following because they, they're all doing bad stuff. Um, yeah. I think that was a missed opportunity because I think you would have more defined what was going on. But maybe the director just wasn't looking to do that. So I, I can't get mad yeah. at him. Just, I would prefer that. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then one last thing, Brian said that last gun battle was epic that the whole last scene once they get into the dc was was crazy it looked cool it was very intense it was very fast paced yeah it was it was a lot a lot at once they said the black guy was a great actor i think you're talking about uh sammy steven sammy Kidney? yeah yeah yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was great. he's he was great. amazing yeah and he's been amazing yeah i missed him in one of the movies we had you know what's he and supposed to be in doom he wasn't, oh, yeah. yeah, he was in Dune. Mm-hmm. He was in Dune. He wasn't in Dune too. He wasn't in Dune too. Yeah, didn't he die? Got he, he got killed, didn't he? No, I think they just got rid of him. Oh. Because I thought I thought he was because he was part of the uh uh Atreides house and like everyone mm-hmm. part of the Atreides house got killed. That's what you assume, but you saw everyone else all of a sudden came back. <laughs> it was around. <laughs> no, it was just Josh Brolin, wasn't it? And his troops, whatever. Mm-hmm. I thought that there was still a lot of people that, you know, not they're part of the Trades House. They were part of the Trades, but that worked for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know he didn't work for the Trades. He just worked for whoever was there, running. Not didn't he? Wasn't he the? Oh, he was part of the, the, them before. Yeah, I thought he you know? was part of the house. He come. He, he did come there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think they said that he was supposed to come back, and then he just didn't. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he wasn't a fighter or anything, so it wouldn't be a real uh, interesting spot for him because he was like a numbers dude, mm-hmm. wasn't he? 
Because he like asked him a question, his like eyes rolled back and gave like an exact number or something. Yeah, so, that, that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's get into our ratings for this one. All right, so we keep things nice and simple. Now, later, never. Now means keep. Uh, we sorry. Uh, start that over. Again. <laughs> all right. Uh, we do things nice and easy over here. Now, later, never. Now means you go run to the theater, watch it right now before it gets spoiled. Uh, later means you wait till it's at home and watch it at home. And never means just skip it all together. Uh, Brandon, what you giving Civil War? Um, this is kind of a tough one. Um, but I think I will have to give this a later. Um. Mm. Really good movie. I really liked, like I said, it, it really throws you in. I like the tense vibe. Um, I really like the acting. But it's definitely not for everyone. Um, and that a lot of that kind of goes for everything Alex Garland makes. Um, so, like, you're not necessarily missing out on a whole lot or even, like, a really big theatrical experience by not seeing it in the theaters. Um, so I would have to, it was kind of tough because I was thinking about giving it a now. Um, but I can, I'll, I'll, I'll settle on later for this one. Okay. All right. What about you, Brian? I agree. This is really hard for me to say. Um, cause I believe if you just gave context of who's the good person, who's the bad people that I would say, this is a, not just good, but almost great movie. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think is the, the social, you know, political stuff that they they did, social the social aspect to it, the, during the time that we're having, especially with the type of you know things that are happening around us now, the realism. I understand the the commentary, the, the social commentary of it. I like it a lot, but me not knowing, me having to get this stuff from the director. Is the one thing that's like makes me almost want to say later. Mm. Me not knowing who's good, who's bad, makes me want to give it the give it a later. Um, even though I I think it's a very quality movie. Mm-hmm. So I, I want I want to land on later this time. Yeah, but someone could talk me into now. So someone mm. could talk me into now. It's, <laughs> if, it's something that they could told me. You if you only knew notice this. They gave you the you know, who was the good and who was the bad. Here, you just mm. didn't see, pay attention. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with now, just because I think mm-hmm. uh, seeing it on screen on the big screen is definitely like really interesting because it's not a comfortable movie. It's not a movie you walk out of it happy, you know, you know, but it is a movie you, you walk out of it like thinking a lot, you know. Um, because for me, like, it, it didn't matter as much who was a good guy or a bad guy. You know what I mean? Because like, who you're somebody you're somebody's bad guy if you're if you think you're the good guy or you know vice versa. So it's like, it was always like, they think they're the good guys. Well, you think you're the good guys. Who's the real good guy? You know, you both are killing everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like you're both bad guys. And so it was like that idea I was cool with. I wanted more backstory of how the war started. You know, that was my biggest issue. But overall, like, I, I got to say now, just because, like, I think the import, the message it was getting to, like, listen, man, war is not good. You know what I mean? It's, especially like mm-hmm. what Brian said, especially now. You know, everyone's talking about, like, oh, civil war, do this or that. And it's like, listen, man, if if this is the 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 action you want to take because like some people can't figure little things out, then then yeah, that's not it's not this is the this isn't the solution. This isn't the answer. Yeah. We all suffer. I, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everybody. So yeah. I I thought it was it was good enough to be an, a now, but I'm kinda like Brian with the, the other way. If you, you want to talk to me into later, I'm I'm okay too. With later, I could, yeah, I could potentially be talking to in the now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of, it's really, I, it's really on that middle ground. And the whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna give this an hour or later, you know. Mm-hmm. So but um, I think I like the movie. Yeah, but I think I might like it better at home. I, 
I don't know if I necessarily yeah. I think because I think I could really get into the movie more at home. And that, that's a little mm-hmm. weird, you know. No, I can see because it's it's a very like I said, it's an uncomfortable movie, and and sometimes uncomfortable movies are better to watch at home just because you can kind of take a break if you need to take a break. You know what I mean? Like when you see mm-hmm. those bodies movie... coming off that tr- that dump truck. Wow, wow, yeah. Or seeing the dude get lit on fire, and you're still seeing his face, like, yeah. Oh my god, it's a little bit hard to watch in the theater full of people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and then we got uh. Brandon Davis coming in. I would give it a later. Okay. Uh, he said, but when it hits streaming, definitely check it out. I liked it. Uh, Cleef said, uh, Civil War is a great movie. So, got a couple comments there about about that. Um, but cool. Uh, and then with uh, Ron Tomatoes, we have uh, critics give it an 82%. So the critics are liking it. Audience, 77%. So not too far off from each other. Um, box office, though, I think it is A24's biggest box office weekend or opening weekend um, at 25 million, 25.7 million um, for its opening weekend, which is not too bad for it. Do you, do you know the budget? I It's got to be fairly low, right? What is it? Do you know what it is? It's fairly high. Really? Really? You guys want to guess? What are you saying? High? 150? What do you got, B? 100 even. Well, I think that's 120 is what they spent total on the movie. Mm, okay. And that's including with the, all the, the all the other stuff. It's only 50 yeah. million to make. And they spend another 50, 50 million on marketing. So marketing. to break mm-hmm. even, they're gonna to have to make a hundred million dollars to, to to break even. And being at 25, mm-hmm. I don't know if it makes that hundred million. I think it make maybe 130, but if it's only 30 million dollars that you make, is it really that good of a movie? Like you're barely yeah. You know, I was it. gonna say a twenty four. That's why uh, I was. I'm kind of surprised because uh, Brand Brand Davis said this is the a twenty four most expensive movie. They usually you make. I don't say yeah. cheap movies, but they make uh, movies for not a lot of money. So this is interesting, but it is their biggest weekend. Think about the scenes. The scenes changed all the time. The area changed all the time. Yeah, you know, really big actors and actresses. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we'll 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 see, man. Like that's that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I I thought like all together would have been like fifty. You yeah, know. It's, fifty was just the movie budget, yeah, not the marketing, marketing budget. Yeah. Damn. We'll see. We'll see if it gets money back. Because I this is not going to do well international. It's just not because no one gives a shit. You know I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know? Like you're gonna go with international, like oh, this is what a civil war can look like. They're like, how many countries gonna be like, yeah, we know but, exactly. You know, uh, yeah, so that was last week. We supposed to care about you? Yeah, yeah. So you know, I, domestically, after this, we'll see, I mean, we'll just say make. I mean, make. Let's say it makes a hundred million dollars. That's just basically breaking even. On the market now, yeah. yeah, yeah, and even A24, you, you they can't even like, oh, well, this is like a movie we're gonna put in to win a bunch of Oscars. I was like, you did that for everything everywhere, <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> you won a bunch of Oscars with that movie, so and you didn't spend a fortune. So, do you think um, that anyone wins? Uh, Matt Film, you're right, they make they make amazing movies, they're so great. Is there anyone that wins? You know, Best actor or actress or anything like that, supporting actor, supporting actress. For this one, I would, I wouldn't think so. You know, I really like the acting. Um, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I can see maybe like original screenplay or something like something like that. Nominated, but I don't know if win. Um, 
Yeah, no, because none of the actors were they were good, but they didn't. None of them stood out, you know. But I think that was done on purpose, though. I don't think any of them were meant to stand out because as a journalist, you're not meant to stand out. Otherwise, you exactly. get shot at. Like what happened with the girl, you know. So, you know, that's kind of like, like, kind of meta almost. I what to me, I could be wrong. It could be looking much into it more than what it actually is. But you know, that's how I kind of felt about it. You know. But mm-hmm. Jesse Plemons should win something for that man. <laughs> like, is two day best, best ten minutes on camp on screen or something. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes, serious character that was not a main character at all. Yeah, yeah, dude. Mm. <laughs> so we're American. Yeah. He's like, what type of American are you? Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Graphic death. Graphic yeah. deaths, man. They were they were brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, uh, Meth Damon really brought the creepy in that scene. Man. <laughs> oh, Kenny said, uh, you'll notice that almost all the bodies that dropped on screen were minorities. I did notice that. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. almost all of them were minorities. Black, Hispanic, they all look like, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. And then he uh, shot the two Asian guys, like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So, um, all right, we'll finish that up there. Uh, so stick around. We're gonna get to the comments. We're gonna talk about the comments. But if you're watching our replay, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about Civil War. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Some scenes you you feel that uh that were done really well. But uh, let us know. We love the chit chat with you guys in the comments. Um, we appreciate everyone hanging out with us and everyone in the live chat. Stick around because we are gonna finish things up for the night. I just saw what time it was. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, so sorry if I skip over some of the comments, but I'll just go over a few real quick. Uh, given today's comment, I wanted to see the division between Americans, like what I wanted. Uh, pandering and panic like after some all fears came after 9-11 I think that was okay because I felt like it was even scarier yeah. knowing that there's parts of America that just pretend like it did it wasn't going on Yeah, that's realistic and that's scary yeah yeah, mm-hmm. but then the, when you start making divisions like that then you start making sides and then when you start making sides then you're like, well, these guys were right. Like, well, no, these guys were right. You know, and and I I I don't think he wanted to get into that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know? Cause that's why it was like even when Brian, when you said like it was so hard to tell who was who, you know, mm-hmm. and I and I'm pretty sure that was done on purpose, you know. You know, so uh being honest, no interest in, interest in American politics movies generally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. So, <laughs> and that's why it's not gonna it's not gonna make any money internationally. If yeah, it makes well, a million know, dollars, I don't think it'd be released internationally. And it's funny because as soon as something oh. like that happened, you know what we were all doing? All running to Canada before they close <laughs> the, the borders. Yeah. Saying, who can get there the, fair, the fastest? <laughs> yep. Uh as someone in my comments say, A24 hasn't made a good movie since 2020. Some people you just can't take seriously. What? They've been mostly hot, been hi- hiding under a rock. What? I've been like, wait a minute. I mean, because wasn't it every everywhere? Yeah, the one, all that one was... best picture. Yeah, but that was like, was that or was that 2020? That might have been no. That was what, right? No, or before twenty twenty two. Was it twenty twenty two? Hmm. Oh, damn. Minari, Minari was amazing movie. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I loved that movie. Uh, the Green Knight, I didn't like. A lot of other people liked it. You know, so yeah. The Green Knight, uh, I thought was just okay. Yeah, I, I didn't care for it. Um, X, X, yeah, what the hell. Everything everywhere was was twenty twenty two. You're right. Uh, yep. Men was good, but I see why a lot of people didn't like it. Marcel with the shell with shoes on. 
I thought that was going to be a stupid movie. That was an amazing movie. Absolutely loved it. It was so adorable. Such a great movie. You know, Bodies, 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 Pearl. They're insane, man. They're insane. The Whale? The Whale? Well, like, yeah. I, I didn't like Bodies, yeah. Bodies, Bodies that much. But it was, yeah. it was okay. It was all right. mm-hmm. You know, Past Lives, same thing. It was like, it was okay. I didn't hate it. Talk to, talk to me. What that was that was one of the, one a great great freaking scary movie. yeah yeah I'm, I'm kind of I'm yeah I'm kind of mad they're making a sequel to talk to me they they could just yeah. leave it hereditary was crazy mm-hmm. yeah but was that was but that was before well I'm just, I'm I'm going from like 2020 to now mm-hmm. like all, everything I list was just from 2020 to now zone of interest dream scenario was great iron claw. That's that. And that's just last year, you know. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. You need to like tell that person go, go watch it again. Come back. <laughs> the year wasn't even packed all the way when I went. Yeah, I was yeah. one of seven. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. You. Pretty pretty and, good amount of my theater, but you know, AMC Diamond um, Thirty Seven over here. Um, the theaters aren't like the the uh, the the theaters aren't like terribly terribly huge. Yeah. Oh, the dining ones, yeah, are mm-hmm. not too big. Um, yeah, it gets nominated for sound design, cinematography, original screenplay, stuff like that. I can see that. Uh, so homeboy stood stood out when he shot him because he was from China. Oh, this lie, lie. Yeah. Like what the? I'm like Oklahoma. Yeah. Yeah, from New York. I don't know New York. Uh, the black press secretary for the president got executed. Man, yeah, that was stupid. I ain't trying to save no president at that, bro. I'm out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, he's not going to be in the room. There's no way he's not going to be in the room. I'm like, and then, yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. Um, but even the the chick. That shot, shot. Oh, I think that was the one she shot her. Um, was she's like, yeah, yeah, bring him out. He'll be safe. <laughs> oh no, she goes, oh, bring him out. We'll take care of him. I was like, we'll oh, take shit. care of him exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the the black man in the tire that was lit on fire. Yeah, that was too much. That was when I was like, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, yeah. My bear. <laughs> they give uh, Canada a shout out. They did. <laughs> yeah, green night. Canadian already. dollar. Let's go. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, he goes, well, I haven't seen any of those A24 movies. I saw Talk to Me, Dream Scenario. Was eh. Dream Scenario was, was, was good. Yeah. I like Dream Scenario. Yeah. Check out Iron Claw was great. Uh, Zone of Interest. Zone of Interest from World War II Nazi kind of movie. That's uh, again, I thought that was like interesting. You know, it's like, you know, well, but cool. All right. It's getting late. So sorry if we missed over a bunch of uh, people. Horror Geek, I know you're in here. Uh, Civil War is never going to be for me. Curious if it'll have good legs or not. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, appreciate everyone in here hanging out with us. Thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you, everybody, all the members. Let me bring that up real quick. I got to shout out the members for sure. Um, the comment. Sorry. Uh, Mama Bear, uh, Big Ford Entertainment. Why is that not hiding? There we go. Uh, Big Four Entertainment, Omar, The Dre Max Show, Zach Attacks, uh, Brian Davis, The Road to Wisdom, Danny, and Cleves. Thank you guys for being members so much, for helping us out and supporting us uh, on that level. Um, thank you guys so much, but I am tired. I'm getting out of here. I can't think straight anymore. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Talk some more uh, TV shows and other good stuff and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a good night. See you guys. Good night, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're out here.